chats, welcome if you're new, welcome back for an OG. Now, real quick, wanna say, there should be a timestamp in the top pin comment below. Once again, not sure if we're live or not, but timestamp in the top pin comment below. Click it and that should take you exactly where you need to be. And this is probably what we're gonna be seeing today. Uh, and Treyarch also confirmed that we're gonna see something new for Call of Duty, right? Like, I suspect it's gonna be multiplayer gameplay. I'm gonna mute my stream real quick, but we're getting some uh, PS5 demos. So Ratchet and Clank, new PS5 gameplay, and uh, Jeff Keighley already confirmed that it's gonna be new gameplay, guys. Like, because I know that some people were kinda like, hey man, uh, is it gonna be the same old gameplay? But he did confirm that we're gonna get new gameplay. So this is all what we're getting, and surprisingly, we're also getting getting Medal of Honor today, so that's wild, plus more, so we're gonna see what else we're gonna get, but Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay, how you guys feeling? How you guys feeling about the, the trailer? Let me zoom out and let me welcome all, yo, we got some, we got some trained athletes out in the chat, let me welcome all of you guys, man, let me, uh, let, let me welcome all of you guys in, yo, we got Brian guy, we got Taryn, we got Shade, what's up? Welcome to the VIP lounges, man, well, how you doing, man, how's the wife and the children? Adrian, what if? James, Polar, Master, Gamer, Bry, Alexander, Paula, Booty. Love your name, man. I, I'm pretty sure I told you that before too, right? Like, I gotta, I gotta make sure you, uh, you know what I mean, right? Elysium, Moonis, uh, Peanut, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you. Jay, Asian, uh, Austin, dude. All I'm seeing is W. Okay, my eyesight's so bad. All I see is W right now. Like, that's, uh, that's pretty, pretty good to know, man. All I see is W, man. Silky, what's up? Taryn, CEO, Jay, Mr. Walter, TV Ferris. I remember you, man. How you doing? You're that uh, gift guy, right? Like you're my you're my gift supplier, man. I, I see you, brother. How you doing, man? So yeah, guys, how you feel about the trailer? You guys like it? You guys not like it? Let me know in the let me know in the comments. I personally dig it a lot. For sure, it's Activision we're talking about, right? Like, uh, we're, <laughs> we're gonna be uh, having those uh, non-free upgrades, right? But it's only $10 at the same... You know, I'm I'm covering all the news, right? So, like, that's one of those things, right? Like, uh, and I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I think the reason I'm not mad is because, like, there is no season pass. If there was season pass, microtransactions, $1 red dot sites like Black Ops 4 with like $10 extra next gen upgrade, then I think I'll be mad, right? Like, but here's the thing. How you guys feel about free zombies maps? You guys think that's a W? I think that's a W. I think that's a W, but how many maps are we gonna get? Because normally we get like five maps with the season pass. Like once you buy the season pass, you get like the bonus map and then you get like, uh, you get four more maps throughout the season right throughout its life cycle but this time how many maps we're gonna get because it's free though how many maps did we get with modern warfare i don't think personally i suspect that we're only gonna get like two two to three zombie maps because it's gonna be free right they're gonna be like yo man it's free so we do not want to work you know we don't want to be providing extra maps i'm not sure like i want to know how you stud muffins are feeling all right let me welcome all of you guys param i see you eddie master 20 maybe uh 20 for modern warfare really did we get like 20? Uh, I'm not talking about like on on disc maps. I'm talking about like additional maps. Where is the stream? Dude, uh, it's starting in an hour, dude. I got a countdown on stream. 1.30 p.m. Eastern, so very soon. Get ready, dude. Like this is, uh, this is uh, we're gonna have the pre-show as well very soon. I believe that it's gonna start like uh, in a couple of minutes from now. So uh, yeah, man, get get yourself some water. Not that G fuel, not that G fuel, okay? So uh, get ready, man. It's uh, gonna be wild. And uh, I suspect that we're gonna get like some campaign gameplay. Track already confirmed we're gonna get uh, like don't be late, like be there, something like that. Like, last night so yo ibrahim what's up man uh 130 or two uh it's uh we're getting a pre-show we're getting a pre-show before and pre-show is gonna have something else as well but i think during the stream we're gonna get call of duty i really hope it's like a 10 minute like campaign footage dog because youtubers already seen it dog like they've seen like three missions i never thought like during this Roni situation they will fly them out or maybe they they were like in a zoom call like online style right so there's no battle pass level system on multiplayer? Nah, there is, David, the gamer. Like, they already confirm if you get the ultimate edition, you get that free, free battle pass and 20 tier skips. It was a Zoom call? Uh, okay, here we go, you know, my man. Yo, somebody give Ibrahim a Benjamin? Wash your hands. Yeah, man, wash your hands before uh, smashing the like button, guys. If you're new, man, subscribe. Your name will pop up on the streams. You guys like the battle pass? Luke says battle pass is gay. Uh, you guys, okay, give me a one. Give me a one if battle pass good. Give me a two if battle pass not good. I want to know how many of you guys think it's good. Is there going to be Cold War gameplay? That's what the, the homies on the block 
are expecting. Like Treyarch said, don't be late, like don't miss this one, we got some new stuff. And let's be honest, it has to be gameplay, right? And Jeff Keighley also says that like we're gonna be getting a new gameplay. Okay, a lot of ones. So you guys you guys like that? So that is good, not good. Okay, Warren says not good. Be better than loot boxes. I agree. The only thing that I want with battle passes is that you know like all the all the skins that we're getting in the in the shop as microtransactions, like put that goddamn shit in the in the battle pass man like just just put some of the skins like i'm not asking for like kidneys i'm not asking for like like all that kind of shit like i'm just asking for like a couple of skins right sebastian i like that man thank you for subscribing cole welcome to the vip lounges how you doing man and now let's not fight over xbox or uh the the sony ponies man let's not let's not start over that yo tv ferris stop with that man it's all about soldier boy man soldier boy versus atari which one you guys picking I i'll go with the soldier boy man soldier no nah, no let's not talk about gandu box okay let's not do that yo luke stop it stop it i gotta cut i gotta cut your i gotta cut your wings man because then like people will be mad and everybody will fight over like uh uh sony pony like sony ponies will chest up then gay box players will be offended then sony ponies will be offended that's just like like let, let's not do that okay soldier boy is the best soldier boy console is the best all right show us the gameplay uh dude 1 30 p.m eastern that's when it's starting but uh we're getting the what's this called the the the, the pre-show very soon the pre-show very soon so uh just uh, get some water and uh it's gonna it's gonna be good it's gamescom 2020 it's gonna be massive i hope i hope it's massive soja is from uh Ali alibaba uh do you mean like soja boy be selling on alibaba and shit dude everything is made in china like let me tell you one thing right like your clothes uh, yeah like dude everything is in china dude everything everything is made in china so so are they showing Black Ops gameplay with the PS5 reveal? Uh, that's like what we're hearing. It's gonna be PS5 gameplay. Yesterday they showed the PS5 gameplay trailer, so it was capture on PS5. That's what they said, and uh, I mean it. Do it does look good, man. David, what's up, man? How you doing? China, China, China number one. Nine point five teraflops for what? Uh, PS5 is ten point two, I think, and Xbox, 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 Xbox is uh twelve teraflops, man. Mixed languages, but why, man? Why? Ni hao, China? Uh, super, what's up, man? How you doing? Hopefully they show Cold War Zombies. They said that they're gonna be showing later on. They said they're gonna be showing later on. Uh, probably by the end of September or early October. I, I don't think they will show, like, this early. If they show today, dog, like, that's gonna be wild. Like, I hope they do. But Zombies is, like... They're gonna wait till the end, right? Like, they're not gonna blow all their load at once. They're gonna be like, okay, so we got, like, multiplayer coming on September 9th, and then we're probably gonna get the beta, and once the beta ends, a week or two after that, we're probably gonna see zombies. And, yo, Cyberpunk, is it coming out on November 19th? I think it's coming out on November 19th. And November 20th, that's, like, the rumored PS5 date. Yo, what's up, Nadim? How you doing, bro? Excuse me, bye, What's up, TikTok, man? Up, Kessel, man? Uh, what channel is the official stream on? right here man like that's the reason i'm streaming early for that man uh we're gonna have the pre-show very soon and then the actual stream in one hour right so uh i got you right here brother i got you Atar atari is shit uh so i i go with soldier boy yeah i roll with soldier boy soldier boy console over sony pony the xbox and the atari as well let's not fight over uh ps5 and xbox guys uh, and uh smash a like button if you if you if you think soldier boy console is good smash a like button I reckon the beta will come in early October. Uh, now I think it's gonna be announced on September 9th, and it's gonna it's gonna roll like pretty fast, like soon after we get the multiplayer trailer. Yo, is this Gamescom cut trailer? Yeah, this is Gamescom, and we're getting probably gameplay. Yo, I hope they do not show like Bob's and Vagana here, man. God damn it, dude! Like Cyberpunk with Bob's and Vagana shit, like on YouTube, I don't want that, man. Will we have a next gen uh, news? Uh, we're getting PS5 gameplay for Ratchet and Clank today. We're getting Call of Duty 2020. Let me actually pull up the calendar for you guys. All right. So this is all what we're getting. Uh, plus more, dude. I'm I'm pumped for Medal of Honor. Like I never knew like they're like re. But some people are saying it's VR, so I'm not sure. That's that's gonna be gay if they if they do that, man. Like I don't want like uh, I don't want a VR. VR is good, but it's like, do you guys have VR? Drop a one if you don't have VR, okay? And we're getting Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, Fall Guys Season 2, and we're getting, we're getting a demo for Ratchet and Clank. Doom, plus more. So that's uh, what's happening, like, uh, very soon, alright? So that's, uh, alright, let me put this here. 
Hindi me gali, please again, Lamo. Do you mean Gandu? Kutia salia pand, yeah. So that's what you. It's VR, but it's trash. Dog, like, VR is pretty cool. It's pretty good. But do I have VR? Do I, do, I, do, I, do I, like, like, how? Okay, tell me if you got. Tell, tell any, any of you guys got VR? Any of you got VR? PS5 beats PC, Xbox, and Nintendo. Oh man, you're gonna you're gonna start a console war in the chat. All I'm saying here is that let's fight over Soldier Boy and Atari, all right? Let's not fight with the uh, Sony ponies and the Xbox. I'm getting a VR hopefully this month. Why does the stream actually? When does the stream actually begin? In uh, 53 minutes, and we're getting the pre-show very soon. We're getting the pre-show very soon. So actual stream in 53 minutes. Uh, but pre-show before that, so let's see what happens in pre-show. Like, is Treyarch gonna show up? Are they gonna talk? Are they gonna show like some uh, some special gameplay? I'm not sure. Uh, check uh, tw check Twitter DMs. I'll check after the stream. Okay, you know what? I'm just joking. I'm a bit. Uh, can I read what you said? Cause I I got the DM. I'm not sure if you want me to read it. Uh, so I heard not confirm something. Yeah, that's a uh, that's when I expect it's gonna come as well. That's when. That's exactly what I was like, saying as well. But I do not have inside information or anything. But do you do you want me to read your DM on stream or not? Nah? Like I just read it, but do you want me to uh, read it? Any speculation on what the new Master Camo Dark Matter Damascus is uh, gonna be? Uh, no, no clue, man. No clue. Yo, we need a prototype warehouse. Your prototype, man. Can you data mine that, man? <laughs> Can you data mine that, man? Cause the homies wanna know like what the. Or the master craft or like the 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 the, the top tier high-end uh, camel will be are you indian nah i'm pakistani but abhijit kuch to gadbad hai abhijit kya kar rahe man aap kuch to kuch to gadbad hai how you doing do you get the reference let me know man uh try supply new uh try uh trying to supply some new gifts dude that that gift supply you're you're my gift supplier and the gift that you have been supplying as of as of re, as of late is pretty it's like top tier quality it's like tier a so pretty good man pretty good and uh spy mujhe pechana gandu ye shot pechan gaya main aapko pechan gaya i'm hyped for zombies dude zombies big time big time but i i think okay so here's the thing today we're getting something for call of duty possibly campaign tr gameplay that's what i'm expecting but it could be anything right it might be dead off sorry kid which which will i'm gonna be fine with that but i want to get some gameplay right yo thank you for subscribing eric welcome on in how you doing gandu what's up man in a school call right now and you're watching stream in a school call right now dude dude come on man come on dude focus on your study my guy okay do not be my man be multitasking i love you though but uh Hopefully camp and gameplay. Oh shit, we're getting the trailer. We're getting the teaser. Yo, this got banned. This got banned in China, like, for one second, and they censored it, right? Like, how you guys feel about that? Uh, Modern Warfare was censored as well, like, certain st uh, certain things were removed from the campaign. I suspect that this time, a lot of things will be removed as well, just like Modern Warfare. Alan, what's up, thank you, what's up, everyone? welcome on in. Uh, F school, let's watch. Uh, Rolando, I love you, man. Somebody give this man a Benji. Kutta Activision, yeah, Kutta Activision have to, man. But that, but the thing is, like, I don't blame Activision. Like, for sure, with Modern Warfare, they had all of the stuff. You know, they they did not want it to remove that, but it's like, like certain countries, like with laws, regulations, and shit like that. Like, people get offended, and uh, it's like they gotta remove it. Like, it's a business after all, so they gotta remove it at the end. And China, dude, like, they got like what 1.4 billion. Uh, people, but Activision, look at them like uh, money signs, okay? Like it's not 1.4 billion people to Activision. It's uh, it's moolah. It's like billions and billions of dollars. Like if China banned this game, yo, they they are not gonna print Benjis, right? Yo, thank you for subscribing. So it's like they have to remove that one second clip and re-release that teaser trailer. Uh, where are you watching this? Uh, I'm watching on YouTube, man. YouTube. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean, Nathan. Like, I'm not. I, I do not speak that language, man. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? How you guys feel about? Uh, how you guys feel about China banning the game though, or or actually the trailer? But they re-released the trailer, so I think they're good now. But they kind of censored it. How you guys feel about that? I got a grind schizzle, uh Show. Uh, I got a grind. I got a grind schizzle School is gay. Uh, magic. What? What does that mean, bro? You gotta say no homo first, man. Rolando, thank you for subscribing. Uh, make sure you guys are washing your hands before subscribing. And, yo, thank you all. Shout out to all of you guys who became a member yesterday. We, like, surpassed 50 members. Damn, that's wild. Uh, they really censor it? Well, yeah, they censor over... I'm not sure... 
there there is something that China do not want Tiananmen or something like that. Uh, there was like a Cold War. Something happened in China during Cold War, right? So they had to. I'm I'm not a historian guy, but China was like, hey man, uh, that's uh, you know, you do not want to show that in your video game. So you know what? Get the f out. So they had to delete the because the initial trailer, the teaser trailer, was two minutes, and Call of Duty re-released that, but this time it was like one minute. Yeah, Tiananmen Square. I, I'm not sure what exactly is that. Like, what what did? Wh I'm not sure what happened around that time. I'm gonna search up, but like, I'm I, I don't really care. You know what I mean? Are you actually gonna post the PS5 reveal this time? Yeah, uh, yeah. It's a P we're getting PS5 gameplay for the games. Uh, like, I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna show the calendar. So this is everything we're getting today. We're getting Ratchet and Clank PS5 demo, Fall Guys Season 2, yeah, I love Fall Guys, you guys play Fall Guys? Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and Treyarch already confirmed that as well, like, don't miss this one, so it's gonna be gameplay. Destiny 2, uh, Doom Eternal, Little Nightmares, and Metal of Honor. I'm hyped for it, but people say it's VR, so not really hitting the G-spot, plus more, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, how you doing? Yo, Subhan, what's up? Poo Poo Pee Pee, how you doing, man? How you doing? Uh, come on, man. Let me actually delete that, dude. Uh, thank you so much. No problem, Juan. Fall Guys pissed me off, but it's fun. Dude, Fall Guys... People try hard in Fall Guys, dude. Censor their part, but don't censor our end. Yeah, okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, I agree. Big agree, man. Big agree. If you guys agree with that, smash the like button, man. I wanna I wanna know, how many of you guys want no censor in, co in Call of Duty? And how many of you guys want the game to be censored? Like if no, Like if no censoring... Dislike the video if you, or the stream if you want the game to be censored. Like, I wanna see how many of you guys, uh, because, uh, like, people get offended and that's like... I mean, don't be offended, it's like a video game at the end of the day, but if you get offended, that's... I mean, like, don't, don't be offended, like, uh, it ruins the game, right? Like, if they start censoring game, it ruins it. So, 16 people want the game censored, 300 people don't want the game censored. Alright, alright, fair enough. What's up, Gandu? How are you? Uh, and keep in mind that Activision, they, they, as soon as like certain countries is like, man, you gotta ban this or delete that, they, they're like, yeah, man, we're gonna do it. So Activision is like that, man. Ron yeah, man, everybody's memeing on that, Ronald Reagan. Uh, it's a good game when people get offended. Imagine being offended by history. F and exactly, dude. Like, dude, it's history, right? Like, personally, I don't care for history or anything like that. Like, I'm not a historian guy, but the end, but at the end of the day, it's just a video game, right? Yo, Jordan, thank you for subscribing, South, welcome on in. At the end of the day, like, it ruins experience, but what the homie said in the chat is that, like, if you wanna censor it, censor that part for that said country, but do not censor it for everybody else, and I agree with that. Like, let's say, so China is mad, they, they want the game to be censored, so ch uh, censor that part for China, but do not censor for all the rest of the, the countries, right? I think that's that's fair. I think that's fair. Uh, Bill Jenna, what's up? How you doing? Uh, by GTA 6, Kabaiga, teaser, yeah, trailer, kuch bhi. Uh, yeah, uh, 80 saal ke hoge na tab aega, Vijit. Uh, but kuch to gad bada hai, Vijit. Kuch to gad bada hai. Uh, what got censored? One part of the Chinese history, I think. Yeah, what did get, uh, yeah, one part of the Chinese history, Tiananmen, like, any, any scientist, any historian guy in my chat just put it, like, I'm not even sure how to pronounce that, like, Tiananmen, something like that. Uh, censorship amping up hard all over the world, not just for games. I agree, man, even on YouTube, like, you cannot say certain words, right, so I just try, I just, I just try to stay away from all that, man. Uh, college students were protesting and CCP called in the Chinese army to open fire and run them over with wu tangs. oh, damn, dude, 10,000. For real? Oh, so that's what happened? Uh, that's what, uh, oh, okay, so in 19, okay, a huge massacre happened there in 1989. China do not want people to know about it, so it's pure censorship from Activision side, and they're partially owned by China. Oh, damn. Yeah, okay, I heard similar stuff. I heard similar stuff. But yeah, I did not dig up that. Uh, so yeah, that's what they want. Yeah, that's what they want. Hebe, yo, what's up, Hebe? Shadi honi ke baad, aega GTS like, uh, did. Jab mar jaoge na, kapda mein taange latak nahi hoge na, tab aega, man. Tabaiga, Tabaiga GTA 6. Do you think uh, Prestige mode is coming back? Cool, the word. Uh, I'm not sure. Your prototype. Yo, data mine the shit out of it, man. By the way, Prototype Warehouse is a credible data miner. Like, Charlie Intel, they're not crediting my homie, right? Like, that's wild. They credit, like, Call of Duty Tracker and they're doing jack shit. So, if you want to know, like, how all the leaks happen, it's because of Modern Warzone. They got, like, a colony full of, like, data miners. Prototype Warehouse is, like, a stud G. He's a stud muffin. 
So this guy is probably the right hand man, I think. I, I, I could be mistaken. Are you the right hand man of Modern Warzone on Twitter? I wanna know. But this guy, top top tier, alright? I, I actually have a group of people. We all plan to data mine the crap out of the Veda. <laughs> uh, dude, hit me up with the information in the in the DMs, man. So, uh, uh, where are you from? I'm from Pakistan, man. I'm on Blackout. Dude, I, I appreciate that, man. Like, you're like a... Like, dude. Like, we need... You know, I appreciate the data miners, but I appreciate the data miners. We need, like, the screenshotters. We need the data miners. We need video recorders. We need, like, screenshot or screen recorders as well. Because every time a leak goes up, like, we need we need the screenshotters to be on the front lines capturing it, all right? Adrian, appreciate subscribing, man. Welcome on in. Uh, Portugal here. What if Perseus is Reznov? Hmm. Can be, though. Uh, because I heard that he he's alive. Reznov's gonna be alive. Perseus might be Reznov. Yeah, I... Modern Warzone is just someone we give info to. We're not partner in any way. Okay, I got you. So they're like, yeah, they report the news, okay? Just like how, uh, just like how One Heart make the shoes, I report the news, so they're doing similar stuff. I see you, I see you. Uh, yes, I am, Aryan. I'm betting, uh, I'm betting Perseus is Adlet. Yeah, that would be a plot twist if they do that. That, that would be a massive plot twist. Side Call of Duty 2020, you live in Canada or... Yeah, uh, Canada. You can pre-order it now? You can. I'm personally waiting if there's gonna be a collector edition. Have you any, have you found traces of collector edition in the game files prototype? Like, because if there is, like, I'm gonna wait, you know what I mean? But another thing they confirmed is that, like, if you buy the physical version, you cannot get the beta. So that is wild, bro. Like, they surely, they surely do not want you guys to, like, buy the game, uh, like, physically play the beta and like return it and get your five dollars back they don't want to do it that uh, they don't want that they want you to buy the game digitally and once you use the pre-order bonus of frank woods i think you cannot you cannot return it you cannot get like your money back or maybe you can like if you like bug them i think you can uh if you bug sony or xbox yeah nick bridge subscribe and welcome on in man check your twitter mentions i got you my friend i got you my friend I can't imagine all of these kids logging on Warzone yesterday who don't even know what Black Ops is being like. What the F is going on? Okay, that's what the Gaming Revolution said. It said, okay, let me actually put it on Blaster. Let me blast that shit, alright? So you, you stud muffins know what's up, man. Uh, I'm gonna I'm smash the like button. Uh, can you can you imagine all of the kids logging on to Warzone today, yesterday who don't even know what Black Ops is being like? What the F is going on? It said this new generation of kids doesn't know the glory of Black Ops. Hey, big like, man. Big like. Big like, dude. I, I thought something happened, man. I thought something happened. You baited me, dude. You baited me, man. But I see you, man. How you doing? I all pre-order already. Uh, necessarily, Modern Warfare is pretty much their most. Okay, so you're fighting with someone else, Marshall. I see you. Uh, yes, uh, gameplay today, Ben. Gameplay today. Uh, we're getting PS5 gameplay reveals. And we're getting Call of Duty Black Ops. And we're getting, like, all of that plus more. So it's uh, happening today, my guy. And I got you covered, man. If you guys are new here, I cover all the gaming news. PS5, Xbox, Call of Duty, uh, GTA, uh, GTA 89, all of that on the channel. If you're new, subscribe. Your name will uh, pop up on the streams. And uh, 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 he Hello, guys. It's the Gaming Revolution here. And today I'm coming in with all new, brand new, latest and greatest Call of Duty Black Ops 2020 video. video. Tw Call of Duty 2020 video. Dude, what's up, man? You've been long. You've been gone for a long time. How you doing? If you guys haven't already, hit my man up with a sub, all right? Hit my man up with a sub. He's like, he's the right hand man for the whole Call of Duty community. He's the leak supplier. Activision tried to cut this man wings. He got aft in the ass, uh, in the a hole, and uh, Activision did get their shlongs involved. The man got banned. He like, but now he's back. Okay, so the man is back. Hit him up with a sub, I'll appreciate it, alright? And I'm pretty sure he'll appreciate it too, man. You're gonna get a kick of dopamine, like... Like, just just su subscribe to the homie, he will supply with all the... All the gameplay leaks, alright? And, uh, he got you covered, basically, alright? So hit him up with a sub, he's in the, he's in the chat. Get the rest, thank you for subscribing. Rashid, thank you for subscribing as well, welcome on in, man. Uh, not, not clickbait, uh, Hall 23, we're getting Summer Game Fest. And, uh, dude, here you go, man, I got the calendar right there. Not clickbait, man. Not clickbait, dude. We're getting the PS5 gameplay reveals. We're getting Call of Duty 2020. This is Summer Game Fest. Okay, let me actually show you the, the track as well. Not clickbait, my man. Not clickbait, dude. Let me show you the track, alright? 
Uh, okay, where is the tweet? They, yeah, tune in tomorrow. So this is Treyarch, 17 hours ago. Uh, for the Call of Duty Black Ops preview, I suspect it's gonna be campaign gameplay because we already got the gameplay trailer yesterday, man. So, uh, not clickbait, man. Like, uh, trust me, I don't know why you think it's clickbait. Uh, in a way, okay, I'm gonna be honest. Everything on YouTube is clickbait. Everything is. If you get, cl if you click on a video, you get baited, right? Like, but it's not misleading. I think what you mean is I'm uh, misleading, but I'm not misleading, dude. It's uh, Gamescom today. Gamescom is today. Uh. Uh, no problem, man. You're the homie, man. You're the homie. But hopefully uh, your vacay was good, man. I'm not even sure where did you go. Where did you go on the vacay, man? How, 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 how's the wife and the children, man? I want to know. How are you doing? E every yeah, everything is clickbait. Like, if you click, you got baited, right? Like, if, if that's your logic, then everything is clickbait. Uh, of course, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the guy who said clickbait, all right? So, in that regards, everything is clickbait. Uh, check IG and Twitter uh, about Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I tagged you. Uh, what's your Twitter at, man? Uh, is it Lagutu 300? Is that the one? Oh yeah, I know about it. It's gonna be 4K 120 hertz. Call of Duty is gonna be 4K 120 hertz, but I I I don't think it's gonna be 4K 120 hertz. It's gonna be like 4K maybe 60 hertz, and it's gonna be like 1080p 2K 1 120 hertz, which is still nice. Like I would love to game at 2K resolution and 120 FPS rather than 60. FPS and 4K. Uh, what's up, Skizzle? Dizzle? Uh, you, how you doing, Jay Silver? Why the timer on top left? Because that's uh, when it's gonna start. And we're getting the pre-show very soon as well. We're getting like the, the pre-show and we're getting the full stream in uh, 37 minutes. So very soon. We're gonna be having the pre-show as well. Not gonna lie, Ratchet and Clank gives me the dopamine, man. Ratchet and Clank's pretty good. I like Ratchet and Clank. Uh, they find a show zombies. It's not zombies today. I think it's campaign gameplay. Dino, what's up? How you doing? You guys, uh, how many of you guys are... What, what do you care about? Like, zombies, campaign, or multiplayer? I wanna know. I, I would say for me, zombies, then campaign, then multiplayer. At least this time around. But if, like, the if the multiplayer is good, and if the gameplay is lit, like, uh, come September 9th, yo, I think I'm gonna I'm switch over to multiplayer, man. Uh, but I think I'll, of course, like, I care for all, all the things, right? Like, I want to play everything. But campaign's looking pretty solid this year. And I think zombies might, zombies might be good as well. Will new Call of Duty have Gunsmith? Uh, there has been rumors that say that we're not gonna... Yo, shots coming in with five paper, what's up? I love your videos, man. I can't wait for more. And uh, also, can I get a YouTube channel? Shout out, yo, shots HD. Shout out to my man. I appreciate the five. How you doing, man? Have the multiplayers? Zombies, thank you for the five man. It helps out a ton, and uh, I love you, my man. Why there's so much Star Wars? Uh, I don't know, man. There, uh, I mean, Gandu and uh, Sali, Star Wars, the kind of you know, people mad, everything like that. That's why, my guy. Yes, Grizz, 36 minutes, man. How you doing? Check our latest tweet. Uh, let me go around your Twitter, my friend. If you guys do not know, this is the man, okay? This is the man. This is the he's the reason why we have been getting like all these leaks, alright? Charlie will be uh crediting Call of Duty Cracker, but this is the main reason, okay? This guy's the main reason, so hit him up with a follow, alright? Let's see what you say. Rumor, nothing confirmed. Allegedly the beta is coming mid to late September. This is something I've been hearing. So again, this is alleged and not confirmed at the moment. So take it with extra game of shell. Yeah, I suspect it's gonna be mid uh, September as well. Like I think it's gonna be announced on September 9th, personally. And a week or two after the gameplay trailer, we're probably gonna have that. And it's gonna probably end by the end of September. And early October, we're gonna be having, most likely, zombies. Early to mid-October zombies. And by the end of October, like, you know, worldwide gameplay final trailer, reveal trailer, or, you know, game launch trailer. Uh, that's probably what we're gonna see. And then the game will release November. So, yeah, two months, man. Two months. It's gonna be here fast. Slavey coming in at 2.69. Hudson is a furry. Yo, what's up, man? Appreciate the two paper. Look at my tweet. Yo, what's your Twitter, J Roll? I got you, man. I'll, I'll check your Twitter out, man. Uh, yo, Jack, what's up? They might reveal zombies today. Nah, I don't think it's today. Not zombies. They said they already confirmed yesterday that we're gonna we're gonna see you with zombies soon. Like they put that after they in a way they they never said after multiplayer. But uh, the vibe that I got from reading their article was that they're gonna show us after the multiplayer. So, and like, like always, right? Like always. Uh, 420 likes. Yo, did we really hit 420 likes? 
Uh, I don't even keep track of that. Thank you guys, man. Thank you all for being here and for 20 likes. If you get uh, the... Okay, hold on a second. Let me, let me... You guys know already. If you haven't subscribed, you know what's up. Okay, something's coming. Something's coming. Come on, man. I don't even know why it loads when I'm trying to... Yeah. Uh, if we get, like, 5,000 likes... Yeah, I feel like that it's gonna be hard to hit 10,000 likes, right? If we get 5,000 likes on the stream, I'm gonna get this haircut, okay? I'm gonna get this haircut, run around the streets, uh, vlog myself, and... Uh, uh, yeah, vlog myself and actually upload that, alright? 5,000 likes, man. This time, I cut it 50% discount, okay? Uh, 5,000 likes and I'm gonna get this haircut, alright? You guys want that? Let me, let me know, man. 5,000 likes and I'm gonna, I'm gonna live stream with this haircut. Uh, in 34 minutes, we're getting Gamescom livestream, and during Gamescom, we're gonna have the Cold War gameplay. Yeah, my guy. Yes, my guy. Yes! Chadmaster3000 reporting. But yo, Grizz, how you doing? Ben, Zemo, Loot, Dubsy, George, Sparge, The Blue, Mr. Uh, TV Ferris, Justin, everybody in the chat. How you guys doing? You guys feeling odd? You guys, uh, how, how's the Ronnie treating you guys? In class while watching the stream. Justin, what's up? Yo, Guido, how you doing? AZ, what up, BB? Call of Duty hit my G spot hard uh, today or y yesterday, dude. The fact that they got Ronald Reagan in it—that was, that was, uh, that was the climax. That was the climax of the trailer. So, yeah, the trailer looks good. The trailer looks good, but if you really think about it, it's like the same old Call of Duty, right? And I want the same old Call of Duty, but with some fresh stuff and uh, with like fresh content. And the fact that they brought they brought in the 40th president of the U.S. dog. That's wild, man. That's wild. So I think that's probably uh, that's that, that's probably the main reason why a lot of people are excited too, because they know that Trek Ballsack is back. Uh, because Trek Ballsack was huge during Black Ops One, and I also heard this from Exclusive Ace that they brought back the Black Ops One writer. I'm not sure what was his name. You know the guy who wrote Black Ops One story? He is the one writing Call of Duty Cold War story, or he's the guy who written the Call of Duty Cold War story. So. That's if you if Black Ops 1 campaign if you like Black Ops 1 campaign, that's amazing. Like I'm hyped to hear that that he's he's back. So he's writing the Cold War story. Have you seen the leaked images and gameplay? Yeah my guy. But I have not seen the 30 minutes leaked gameplay. Yo, prototype Rios, are you still here, man? If you had the 30 minutes gameplay, please hit me up, man. I love you forever. I heard that there was a 30 minutes gameplay leak. I've seen the 12 second leak footage, but not the 30 minutes leak. I might pre-order Cold War. Uh, I'm personally waiting, like, if we're gonna get the Collector Edition. I hope we get the Collector Edition, but I also hope we don't. Uh, where's, uh, where's the gameplay? In 31 minutes, my man. In 31 minutes. We're getting the, the stream, and pre-shows should start any any minute now. Any minute. Uh, can you say my full name trying to prank my brother right now? Uh, Justin Dawson? Go go right ahead and prank your brother, man, and let me know how it goes. You know, prank your brother and give him this haircut, okay? If you if you give anyone, got okay, chat, chat, listen, listen. All right, I'm not sure about your siblings, but if you got siblings, get them, give them, give them this haircut, okay? Like when they're sleeping around, whatnot, like give them the this haircut, and they will love you forever, man. That's gonna be once in a lifetime situation, okay? You only live once, man. You only live once. You gotta prank, you know. You gotta prank. You gotta give them this hair. You know, it's harmless. It's completely harmless. They're gonna love you forever. Now, if that's like, uh, do not do it to a female, though. Okay, but if you got like a, if you got a brother of yours, uh, give them this haircut, man. Like, especially if they're small, like they, they, they ain't got shit to do, right? So give them this haircut. Take a selfie. Put it online. And boom, man. People are gonna fire up dopamine. You're gonna crack up. Everybody's gonna crap up, right? A crap, a crack, crack up. And once they grow up, that's gonna be memories gonna be memories right they're gonna love you man they're gonna love you maybe in the moment they're gonna hate you but like uh you know later down the road uh, later down the road it's gonna be memories you're gonna look back you're gonna reminisce and uh it's gonna be good times uh can i get some pox spams in the chat and uh, spam uh sp i don't even know why it does that okay come on hold on a second uh smash the like button if uh, big agree okay smash the like button if big agree mine still is school uh look 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 at that man look at that it's all good, man. Look at my, my guy. Look, look at my guy. You know, that smile, that smile on his face. It's non-existent, but of course, the, ma the man is smiling. Invisible smile on his face, right? Look, look, look at my guy, right? Look at, look, at, look at the top of his head, right? Like, I, I swear to God, man. Do it to your siblings, okay? They're gonna love you forever. 
Did they confirm the gameplay? Uh, they said preview. They said preview and we're uh, probably getting camp and gameplay uh, today. But Call of Duty is confirmed. Jeff Kigley said that we're gonna be having PS5 and Xbox gameplay reveals. So yeah, Call of Duty mentioned. Call of Duty is mentioned there, so it has to be gameplay. Skiller gives his mom this haircut. <laughs> nah, man, I'm not gonna let her know, man. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show that to her, man. Nah, I cannot do that. But 5,000 likes, I'll get it. I'll get that haircut on the stream, alright? I, I know last time I said 10,000 likes, but uh, you know what? I'm gonna give you guys a 50% discount, okay? One, one time only, okay? Once in a lifetime, uh, one time only, okay? I'll, I'll get that haircut on stream then. Can you say safe is the best for my bro? Excuse me, G Field? Nah, dude. Only water. Yo, what's up, Zara? How you doing? The reveal yesterday was sick. Running to the stadium was full hype. It was, man. Like, I'm I'm pumped, dude. I'm pumped for this game. I think that they're gonna do the fans really good this year. Uh, Skizzle was yesterday a huge dopamine rush. Blacklist, dude. Thank you for the two paper, and I love that demonetization in, as your avatar picture. Yesterday was massive, dude. Uh, I think zombie's gonna be zombie's gonna be lit this time. Hide your siblings, nah, man. Give them this uh, this haircut. Do not hide your do not hide your siblings. Give give them this haircut, man. Give them this haircut. Uh, you gonna pre-order? Uh, I'm I'm waiting. I'm waiting uh, for collector edition. If they announce collector edition, that's when I'm gonna pre-order. If they don't, well, you know, like I'm not losing anything, right? Not losing on anything. So I'll I'll wait it out and see and pre-order later on. Skill look fruit of the loom and tear stack with the white shirts. What if, uh, dude? I I'm known as a white shirt guy, man. I I wear white and black shirts. That's all I do, man. I save money, I save time, and uh, I don't have to think of think about what to wear, you know. Uh, John the eight bit, and also that's like that's branding too, like for YouTube and shit like that. So I keep it white and black. Uh, just good, man. It's just better. Zion coming in with five paper. What do you think? Uh, what do you think collector edition is going to have? Uh, I don't know, man. It, it has to be something special from the Cold War era. Let's hope it's not pro projectors like the YouTubers got. Let's hope it's something good, man. Keep it, uh, keep it simple, homie. Yeah, exactly. Like you know, white, white and black's pretty good, man. I like white and black. Uh, Preston, you can always mute the stream. Factions this year. Uh, I. I, I really miss the factions. I really miss, uh, miss the factions. Especially for multiplayer because I think factions can give that unique aspect that can make that can enhance the experience. But I don't think we'll ever see factions because character customization has been huge. And it's like they, they, they want to be selling those microtransactions with like skins and shit like that. So I, I don't think we're getting factions. Maybe for zombies, yes. But for multiplayer, probably not. Uh, why the if you all okay? Hold on, your comment got blacklisted. Uh, where is your comment? Where is your comment? Where is your comment? I lost. I lost your comment, man. Say it again, dude. Uh, why the f you always do f in miniature click clickbait? Uh, dude, not not clickbait. Dude, not clickbait. Uh, we're getting the stream in 25 minutes. All right, we're getting the pre-show, and this is uh, Summer Game Fest official Twitter. You can always look up. You can even go over on Treyarch Twitter. We're getting all of that stuff. So Call of Duty gameplay has been confirmed for today. And even try. Let me show you. Not clickbait, dude. Like, so you guys think I'm clickbaiting, dude? It's uh, it's today, dude. Not not clickbait, man. Uh, not clickbait, dude. Like, this is Treyarch Studio. Tune in tomorrow for a new Black Ops Cold War preview. Like, uh, this is Gamescom 2020. Seriously, not clickbait. Like, why you think I'm clickbaiting, dude? I'm just uh, out here reporting the news, my guy. Just out here reporting the news. Listen, listen, hey, listen, listen. <laughs> Time out, man. Like, I'm out. Uh, <laughs> I'm out here just uh, covering what's happening, dude. Not clickbait, dude. A uh, flavor uh, working Reagan. Skill of content as good as prestigious key and chaos. Reckon. Thank you, my man. Everything on YouTube is clickbait. Exactly, everything is. But like, I'm not misleading though. Like, it's uh, Gamescom is today, man. Uh, you might be, you might be new here. You might be living under a rock, and that's perfectly fine though. Like, you might not know. But understand, if you're new here, like, uh, er whenever there's a stream, whenever there's an event, like, all, all definitely stream for you guys. Oh, Metal Fawner. Uh, so that's a VR game, right? Like I Oculus. Oh god damn it, dude. I was pumped for a Medal of Honor, but that's a VR game. That's a VR game. Uh, I think the story is gonna hit. The story is gonna hit, man. 100%. Uh, Raven's working on it as well. I'm surprised that Raven is working on it and not Treyarch. Uh, people are dumb. Clickbait. Love your video stream, my guy. 
Uh, pull, uh, thank you, my man. But yeah, if you're new here, subscribe. Your name will pop on the stream. I'm gonna keep you all, all in the loops with PS5 live streams, Xbox live streams, Call of Duty, GTA, all that good shit, man. Like, uh, I cover all the big gaming news on the channel, right? Like, so whenever there's Gamescom, E3, E3 is probably, let's be honest, like, it's it's never gonna happen. Or maybe it's gonna happen next year, but uh, whenever there are new reveals, I, I will stream, all right? No bit, dude, it's happening. So that's the reason I'm streaming. The end message is super 499 do you think the new uh do you think the next gen pre-orders are going to be live today uh they are already live zion they they went live yesterday they are already live my guy was that battlefield gameplay battlefield will be next year next year and i'm pumped for battlefield as well how are you today man uh, i just woke up and started live streaming man doing good what about you on bb i hope to see something about the next battlefield Probably gonna be like next year around April, March, April, May, June, July. That basically around that time we're gonna hear something. Uh, yo, what's up, Gandu? Om Cats, how you doing, man? There will be uh, yo, Philip, appreciate sure subscribe. Welcome on in, Zeus. Money man, so thank you for subscribing. Welcome on in. How you guys doing? Lonely Chid, what's up, man? Miss two donuts. Did I miss two donuts? Nah, man. I, I read the whole donuts, man. I did not miss the two donuts. Uh, uh, Zeus, I, yeah, he's the last donut. I did not miss the donuts, man. I never, I never miss the donuts, man. I never miss the donuts. If you drink, uh, if you mention everyone you mention, I was, uh, I'll literally drink water. As if he, just drink water, man. Don't drink G Fuel. G Fuel bad, man. G, G Fuel very bad. Grizz, did you say something? I lost your comment. If you said something, just uh, copy and paste it, dude. I don't want to lose your comments, you know? Uh, Kelson, doing good. What about you? Join us. You Xbox engineer and Adil. Ali, thank you for subscribing, man. Some of y'all retarded for pre. Oh, you're coming out blacklisted. I, I think you said retarded. That's why YouTube was like, nah, man, let's uh, blacklist this comment. Let me show your comment. Uh, some of y'all retarded for pre-ordering the Ultimate Edition without seems, uh, seeming, a uh, seeing actual gameplay or even playing the beta. Uh, a lot of people are excited. Personally, like, I know I'm like, as a YouTuber, I know I'm gonna be getting the game. So per for me, like, I gotta get the game, uh, and I haven't even pre-ordered because I'm not losing anything, right? But people are were, people were hit in the G-spot, so, you know, what else is new, right? Like, and I think that the fact that they're giving us Frankwoods, I think that's probably the reason why a lot of people pre-order. But the, the thing with that is that, like, if you use the pre-order bonus, I don't think you can get a refund. Let's say the gameplay is trash and you play the beta and you don't like it. I think the game's gonna be good. Like, I'm not trying to dick on or trash the game or anything like that. Do not get the vibe from me, but I'm just being realistic about it. Like, let's say you get the game, you're like super excited. You play the beta, you don't like it, but you all, you've you already pre-ordered it digitally because you gotta pre-order digitally in order to play the beta, otherwise you're not gonna get the beta. You play the beta, you use the, the Frankwood's bonus in Modern Warfare, you're not gonna get your money back, so that's it. Like, uh, if you're just a casual gamer, or you're, you know, you're kind of sus about Call of Duty, uh, I will, yeah, of course, I would suggest to not pre-order, like, you know, you got all the time in the world, like, the game, you're not gonna lose anything. Like, I, I personally haven't even pre-ordered, because I'm waiting for Collector Edition announcement. If there is Collector Edition, I'm gonna get that. If there's no Collector Edition, hey, I'm gonna wait till uh, probably the last week to pre-order the game. Uh, this is all confusing, Black Ops 3 is now Black Ops 3 and so on. Uh, Blacklist, thank you for the two paper. Uh, this upcoming game is gonna be set between Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. And the word on the street is that it's gonna link up with uh, uh, Modern Warfare. So I'm not sure how exactly it's gonna, but I totally just leave the Collector Edition. Check Twitter mentions. Check Twitter mentions. Uh, you ask on your stream, so here's the Collector Edition. Comes with nuclear sarcasm. Oh, come on, man. Uh, imagine it comes with nuclear family photos, right? Like, gotta have those nuclear f uh, family photos. Oh, if, if oh this I'm is shaking! Right now, uh, smash a like button, man. I wanna know, but smash a like button after washing your hands, alright? I'm not even sure how many likes we're at. Uh, how many likes we're at? I just realized I'm live streaming. I forgot that I was live streaming. How many likes we're at? And if you're new here, I, I cover all the gaming news. Call of Duty, the Gamescom, like, I stream everything and, uh... Uh, I will literally show like all the stuff like whenever there's new information for PS5, Xbox, Call of Duty Whenever there are streams, uh, I'll surely be live streaming for you guys. I, I got you guys, man What are we waiting for? Gamescom live stream, Alex Or Alec, I uh, lost your comment uh, Ross, love you too, my man I want a nuclear family easter egg in uh, I want like nuclear... Nu <laughs> uh, if there's a collector edition, I want nuclear family... I want, I want nuclear family photographs in the actual collector edition, alright? 
Like, I don't want uh, Mr. Dalek Jetty. Oh, oh, I'm shaking. I don't want Mr. Dalek Jetty be to uh, to be the only guy to experience that family photos. Like, I want the I want to experience that too, man. They want to get rid of the nuclear family F in Kami's in the present day uh dude alexander the the thing is that the funny thing is that like china even like censored it dude so that's the that's the reason why they have like uh banned that two minute trailer and released the one minute trailer or one minute version instead of the original two minute version so i think the the game will be censored big time like a lot of things like people will be mad journalists will come out they will be like hey that's uh what was that journalist name because last year modern warfare when the journalists saw the the early preview they were like hey this game is way too much you guys play have you guys played the modern warfare campaign one if you have to if you're not if you have not i played the campaign and it wasn't even it wasn't even gritty dude like modern warfare 2 campaign was way more gritty um now i'm not saying modern warfare's campaign is bad modern warfare uh, modern warfare 2019 campaign is one of the one of the best story game ever made in terms of campaign right but let's be honest like it wasn't that gritty yeah piccadilly was uh kind of like brutal but at the end of the day it was just a game right like compared to norishan it was nothing right but journalists they they got stuff censored though so uh yeah let's hope the game doesn't get banned grand thank you for the three paper man appreciate the three washingtons yo dude like if you're gonna tip three washingtons uh just become a member man i'll appreciate that much more than uh because I i'll appreciate you know i'll prefer you becoming a member uh, instead of tipping uh, but I love you though. I appreciate that a lot. Understand? I appreciate that a lot. I it helps out a ton as well. Only snowflakes get offended by the campaign. Check Twitter mentions. What did you say, my guy? You added me in the situation. Here before the reload gift gets used, and you drop those uh, lamao emoji. I see you, man. I see you hustling. There's gameplay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, game's gone, my guy. Uh, B1 and Black Ops 2 campaign are the the darkest, bro. Uh, gameplay, guessing it's clickbait. Not cam, no no clickbait. Like this is, dude. I had this tab open, okay. Every time, every time. Yo, listen, listen. Hey, listen, my man. Listen. <laughs> time out, time out. Uh, tune in uh, tomorrow for a new Black Ops preview. That was Treyarch uh, yesterday. Oh no, no, that's not the one. Oh, uh, where's that? Oh, I accidentally cut the tab. Oh, okay. Let me go back. Maybe it's gonna work. Maybe, yeah, it's gonna work. And this is the, the calendar of Summer Game Fest, uh, aka Gamescom, aka whatever is gonna happen in 16 minutes, aka now. So, yeah, this is all what's happening today. Uh, not clickbait, my man, it's uh, not clickbait. If you're new here, subscribe, your name will pop one of the streams, and I'll, I'll keep all of you chats in the loops, alright? Uh, what's clickbait? When you get baited to click, which happens all the time, right? Like, if you click on any YouTube video, you are baited, right? So, click- like, everything is clickbait, man. Everything is clickbait. But what I- what I think people mean is misleading, so... Uh, not misleading, dude. Uh, so, uh, game- Gamescom is happening in 15 minutes from now. I got the countdown on stream as well. Uh, did you see the Chinese PS5 price leak at Twitter? On Twitter? Uh, no, I did not see it. Are pre-orders today or what, Skizzle? For what? For PS5 or Call of Duty? Uh, Sony already announced that you can register on their website and they will tell you when the pre-orders are. And there has been leaks that said that Sony will uh, put the pre-orders online without telling us the price. Like, that was leaked by Moore's Lies YouTube channel, like, a couple of days ago. Yo, goes like, thank you for the video. welcome on in, man. And uh, yesterday, Sony did announce the pre-order. They were like, you guys can register and we're gonna tell you when the pre-order is. So you cannot pre-order yet, but they already announced, like, you can... You can register on their website and they will tell you what's up, but that's only for the US. You you cannot register if you're uh, other, like if you're in Canada like me or... If, you can register, but like they will tell you to F off, like when <laughs> they will like GTFO man, we cannot send you the PS5 if you live in, uh, in Canada. Uh, but pre-orders for Call of Duty already live, they went live yesterday. Uh, why would anyone pay 500 or 600 dollars for PS5 just wait a year till it will be on sale? It's probably gonna be like 50 dollars cheaper next year. Probably, they're not gonna reduce the price that much. Uh, at least in a year's time. Just tuning in properly, what's the best game so far revealed? I would say the best game, Call of Duty. And then Cyberpunk. Yeah, Cyberpunk and Call of Duty, for me, personally. What about you? Is there any leaks about the open beta release that cause I pre-ordered and I wanna try it earlier, uh, I wanna try it earlier. Uh, no leaks on that, but... The speculation is that September 9 is the multiplayer gameplay, so that's when they're gonna announce it. Blocks, what's up, man? How you doing? 
just applied some new gifts let me check man. let me check it out man did you supply with some new leaks new gifts yeah uh, i don't see it man i don't see it you better hit me up with those gifts you i really wish youtube chat get the gifts as well probably never gonna happen and if it happens like all you would see is like gift spams in the chat don't do russian accent but why why Keep in mind that Call of Duty is uh, third in the queue. But I, I personally think that they're gonna show it towards the end. Maybe like the, the calendar is like, we're gonna see the games in order. Maybe, but I think uh, Call of Duty will be shown at the end. Cause best for last, you know what I mean? But we'll see though. Uh, yo, Basharq, what's up? How you doing, Habibi? What do you think uh, PlayStation will have exclusive this time with Black Ops Cold War? Uh, personally, I don't think it's gonna be zombies. Because if they do that, we're gonna get WWE. It's gonna start WWE 4, dude. Uh, yo, thank for the... Okay, hold on a second. I got so many tabs open up. Here, yo, thank you for the two paper. Call me sick. Is this a pre-show or just the videos you have? The pre-show is starting. Uh, the pre-show should have started already. But this is the pre-show. I think this is a free show But we're getting the stream to start in 12 minutes, though. So very soon. I think this is a pre-show. Uh, yeah, I think this is a pre-show. But what I think is gonna be exclusive has to be one of the zombies game mode. I think something will be exclusive, but definitely not a zombies mode, because that's gonna start WW4. Did you wash your hands, bro? There's Roni. Uh, make sure you guys are washing your hands before smashing the like button, man. Like, I don't want any of you guys to catch the Roni, man. Peggy 16. Uh, where are you gonna watch it? On YouTube, my man. Always YouTube. And me, you, uh, we, uh, and me, you, uh, we, uh, and <laughs> I hope that we get some accents, like African accent in Call of Duty Cold War as well. That's gonna be nice. Do you think the campaign will have something to do with Modern Warfare Story, because Woods and Warzone? Uh, their leaks are suggesting, I'm not sure if it leaks or rumors, but I think leaks, rumors, same thing, but all the leaks have been true, except for that reboot leak. Yeah, the reboot leak has been fake so far, but otherwise all the leaks have been true for Call of Duty 2020. Like, we knew about Frank Woods being the pre-order like months ago, we knew there was gonna be a new live event, and it's gonna happen, definitely not now, but it's gonna happen right before. Delta, uh, Delta thank you for the two paper. Uh, where's the, uh, what the enemy, thank you for the two paper, man. How you doing, brother? But it's gonna happen, the, 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 the nuke event is gonna happen right before we get the new map for Warzone. And that new map is gonna be Cold War style and probably gonna happen before Cold War comes out or around the same time. I'll call Skizzle the Russian man. When you think Skid for coming out, Skizzle? Pro give probably one or two years from now. Uh, definitely two, I think. Uh, two max? Maybe two max? Yeah, one, two years. One to two years. Eleven more minutes, guys. Eleven more minutes till we get it. Dude, there's only like 8 seconds of delay on the stream, damn. I'm looking at the countdown on my monitor and on the in the stream. 8 seconds of delay. Anthony, what's up? Best the Kivas, brother. Uh, smoke, less trees, now nah, I'm good like... Uh, dude, I grew an Nesquik in the backyard. Do you want some Nesquik? Let me know, man. I got you with that good, good shit, man. Uh, adios, man. I want to jagger Call of Duty with me and the Chicos. Uh, <laughs> what does that mean, man? What does that mean? Skill based matchmaking thoughts? Well, I expected that. I expected that, so. Personally, I'm hoping that there's no skill based matchmaking in zombies. A lot of people are like, hey man, there's gonna be skill based matchmaking in zombies. They're gonna speed up the zombies. They're gonna give you bad weapons in the box. That's like skill based matchmaking for zombies. Well, you never know, right? You never know. But personally, I don't want it, but it's gonna be in the game. Let's all just. Let's tell them, you know? I think the best thing we can all do is that if you do not want skill based match, we can tweet at Activision and Treyarch, like tag them on Twitter and say nicely, like, don't, don't like drop F bombs, this and that. They will just block your ass. They won't like listen to any of you, right? So just be nice, you know, say it in a neutral, neutral volume with neutral voice or, you know, on Twitter, you cannot say if you have neutral voice or you're raging, you know what I mean? Uh, no context on Twitter, but. Uh, just say it nicely, guys. Uh, it would be awesome. I'm liking the game, you know. I love the trailer, even if you don't like the trailer, you know what I mean. Uh, just be nice. Tell them you don't want skill based matchmaking, and hopefully, it's not gonna be as tight as Modern Warfare. And that's the best we can all do, right? That's the best we can all do. But there's gonna be so, yeah. Don't smoke weed, bro. It makes you stupid. No kidding. Uh, that, uh, dude, I'm, <laughs> I'm joking around with Nesquik and shit like that. I don't. I'm clean, my guy. No drugs. No bap. No drugs, man. I don't do that. 
I don't, uh, yeah, I don't do that. Don't worry, man. When I say I grow nest quick in the backyard, it's just all jokes and shit. Uh, not zombies today. Uh, Effer, you don't have PS2. Ask the F, you Randy. Okay, so Demon, is, you're trying to fight with Randy. Okay, we got a fight happening. We got a we got a fight happening in the chat. Damn. South African accent. Uh, S Blue. Yo, yeah, man. I'm 17, man. Any idea how I could make money to buy the PS5, man? Uh, dude, get a job, dude. Or get stimulus checks, bro. Like, get those stimulus. Yo, get that stimulus money and, uh, yeah, dude, like, get the PS5. Get a job or, get, uh, yeah, get those stimulus checks. Easy, my guy. Easy. Do you do steroids, bro? You're looking swole every day, man. Pitbull, I do that every day, man. That's what, like, I'm trying to look like Abby from Last of Us 2, you know what I mean? So, gotta do it every day, man. Gotta do it every day. Are they act are they actually showing gameplay skills? Yeah, dude, Francisco. They're showing, they're showing gameplay. Uh, Summer Game Fest said gameplay. And act uh, track said preview. So it has to be like a short gameplay video. I'm hoping for a 10 minutes gameplay. Yeah, I'm trying to look like Brock Lesnar, dog. Uh, Abby, Brock Lesnar from Last of Us 2, man. Eee! Uh, you are rip. Yeah, I'm trying to be virgin. Trying to be man. You do crack too. Oh man, every 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 other day though. You know, gotta chill out a little bit, but uh, every other day, every other every other day. Like I build that tolerance. So every other day. All jokes. I remember the 420. Last year coming my baby. 420 popping in your videos. Roofs <laughs> asteroids. Yeah man. Yeah, man, roofs out, uh, steroids with roofs out uh, hits, di hits different though, 100%. On God, man. No vap, no vap. Why, uh, when are they showing zombies? Probably by the end of September or early October. I think after the beta. I wanna fight. Uh, you wanna pick a fight with someone in the chat? Go for it, dude. Like, we're all here, we're all spectator uh, spectators. We're all gonna be like, let's go. Like, what's your name? Let me see your name, man. We're, we're all gonna cheer you up, man. We're all gonna cheer you up, man. Smack that like button skizzle, for Skizzle haircut. Uh, yeah, guys, like, uh, 5,000 likes, I'll get this haircut. You know what? A one-time only deal? Okay, one-time only, all right? Let me, uh, how many likes we're at, though? Let me, okay, I gotta open up a new tab for that one. Uh, okay, 764. Hmm, okay, one-time only deal. If you get 2,500 likes, I'll get this haircut live on the stream. Like I, I I got my I got my trimmer just around the block here, okay? Like I can do that. Okay, 2500 likes I'll get this. One time only only offer gonna expire in 2 minutes, all right? If you don't get it, I hope uh, please don't get 2 2500 likes, okay guys? Don't get 2500 likes. Uh how's the wife and the kids? Are uh, they doing good, man? Hey man, do you ever staple You can't got blacklisted because I think you got nipples in your ch uh <laughs> your knickers 45. What the f, bro? Do you ever staple your fingers to your nipples and pretend you're a T-Rex? <laughs> every day, man. Every day. I do that every day, man. Yo, good comment, man. Good shit. Yeah, 2,500 likes, I'll get that. <laughs> I'll get that haircut, man. I'll get that haircut. Please don't hit 2,500 likes. Hit maybe, hit maybe like 2,100, 2,400, but don't hit 2,500. That would be sad for me, dog. Like, I... Uh, I don't want to get that haircut, but if we get it, then, like, of course, like, I'm a man of my word, so I, I would be, okay, how, how many likes were at, though? Like, I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to, at 943, okay, we're far away, uh, we're far away from 2500. Yeah, I think I'm fine, I think I survived, I, I don't think you guys will be able to hit 2500, so, uh, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think you guys will be able to. I don't want to underestimate you guys, but uh, yeah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. What if you guys hit it? Okay, I don't want to laugh. I don't want to laugh this early. I don't want to laugh this early. I'll laugh once the stream ends and we are not at 2,500 likes. That's when I'm going to laugh, alright? Yo, what's up, Gandu? How you doing, man? Yo, what's up? How you doing? You underestimate my powers? Yeah, man, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. What if you guys hit it? Then what, right? Then what? Uh, yeah, but one time only offer though, okay? It's gonna expire in one minute from now though, so I think I'll be fine. Excuse me, are you a gay man? If you don't, answer your... your gay K? Uh, no, Johnny, uh, Johnny, you gotta... Like, 
I always give this advice, like, for sure when this Roni situation, right? Like, I always tell people, do not navigate on Tinder. She might be looking like a snack, but she might have the Roni. Same goes for Grinder, right? Like, if you're looking for a man, hey, nothing wrong. I'm not gonna judge you, right? Like, you can go on Grinder, but even, like, don't go on Grinder right now. Like, if you're gay, don't go on Grinder because, like, he might be looking like a snack, but he might have the Roni, right? So, don't do it now, man. Don't do it. Because uh, you never know, bro. You never know. What if you're trying to hook up with a man and he has the Roni, right? So don't do it, man. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, Blit. Yo, Sika Blit. What's up? PS5 versus Xbox? Let's not do that. I'm all about Soldier Boy console, man. Soldier Boy best console. Soldier Boy best console. Personally, I never use Tinder, though. Like, I, I know I joke around and shit like that. Like, I meme around and whatnot. Like, I don't do that, man. I don't use that. Corona in the chit. Any of you used it? Any you guys had uh, you guys had any success with that? Let me know, man. Hit me up with those tips, man. Hit me up with some those tips. Frank Woods versus Alex. I'll go with the homie Frank Woods, man. Alex good too, but gotta go with the homie Frank Woods. Check mentions on Twitter. Let me check that, man. What did you say, my friend? Okay, my Twitter is bugging. Oh, with that pigeon gif and shit. But how though? So that's like GTA 5 roleplay, right? Let me show that, man. That's GTA 5 roleplay? Yo, my man. Okay, I'm gonna smash the like button, man. You're my... My gift supplier. Any of you guys play Fall Guys? Pretty good game, man. I love this game a lot. It's quite fun, but people try hard on this game, too, man. One of my... One of my G's are try harder, though, so... I know people try hard all the time. Yeah, Soldier Boy is good. But any of you guys had success with Tinder? Let me know. They both look good. M17, any idea how I can make money to buy a PS5? Yo, get those stimulus checks or get a job, dude. I would say get McDonald's. Like, I'm not even joking, dude. Like, uh, you will start and you will learn a few things and then, you know what? You'll get tired of it and you will, like, search for a better job and then it's like, you know, you, you kind of progress like that, right? Start an online business, like watch some videos, you know, look up for. But if you, uh, but if you're really looking to make 500 or 1,000 bucks, like, gotta like, start a job, you know, start work, start working. I would say McDonald's or anywhere you can work. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I cannot see that word on you. Uh, that I don't want to say that, Basile, because like, you know, what, like my parents will, uh, you know, uh, I'm not alone, you know, so they'll hear me. Uh, oh my, what's up, man? Thank you for subscribing. Welcome on in. How you doing, man? One more minute, guys. Oh, I just realized we're live streaming, guys. So if you're new, I do Call of Duty, gaming news, all that good shit. If you're new, subscribe. Your name will pop up on them streams, because one more minute to go. Bring back the Black Ops 1, 1911, reload. Nah, I don't want to say it, man. I don't want to say it, Basile, right now. Because uh, they'll hear me, man. They'll hear me. And they'll, they'll take out the chapel, man. I'll get chapel slapped, you know. Like it up, boys. Nah, guys, don't like, don't like the stream. Don't like the stream. I don't want to get this haircut. I don't want to get this haircut. Okay, you're true that. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome on in. But if you're new though, subscribe. I'll appreciate it if you subscribe though, because like I cover all the stuff, man. Like Call of Duty is a priority on the channel, but I will stream literally all the events. Like game today, it's Gamescom. We're getting new PS5 gameplay reveals, all that shit. Like so, I'll cover all the all, all the big news. I cover all the big news, right? But Call of Duty is a priority. Injustice, Ray Ray, appreciate subscribing. What's up? How you doing? Mr. T is cleaning his room, his chair on stream. <laughs> uh, well, that's Mr. T for you. Let the man do what he does best. All right, let me actually, all right, let me actually check if the stream is live or not. Okay, so we're waiting for it. Any second now, boys. Let me cut the countdown. You thank you for subscribing, Demeter. Oh shit, your name is pretty close to Dimitri. I like that man. What's up, man? Hi. And if you guys... Hi, Seven. Appreciate you subscribing. Apart, Game, Epic Gamer, thank you for subscribing. What's up? How you doing? How's the wife and the children? Alright, got a burp. Uh, Merky, appreciate you subscribing. Welcome on in. Five seconds. So, any second now, man. I'm just waiting for the stream to go live and uh, I'll put it on. I'll put it on for you guys. You guys... Uh, how many of you guys are excited for Call of Duty 2020? Give me a one if you are. Give me a two if you're not. I want to know how many of you guys are or not. Uh, let's now fight over gay box and gay station, guys. Uh, it's all about Soldier Boy console. No, no, let's thank you for subscribing. Welcome on in, my man. Uh, let's see if they're live. Vlad, appreciate subscribing. Oh, Vlad, you remind me of GTA 4. Alright, they're live.
Okay, they got another countdown though, so... I'll, but I'll put the stream on. Yeah, please do not be copyrighted, my friend. Alright, pause you. Guys, they got... <laughs> my bad, they got another countdown. Well, that always happens, right? So they went live, but 12 minutes, so... It's gonna fly by. Are we getting gameplay? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We're getting a gameplay preview, that's what they said. So many one that are hidden. Yeah, I don't know why YouTube blacklists the, even the ones. I don't know why. Yo, Capital E, how you doing, bro? Yeah, Soldier Boy console, best console, man. I swallow camp. Yo, thank you for subscribing, 713 Music. How you doing? What's up? Please wall him up. I, I will wall him up, but when they're alive. And I'm not gonna talk when they're talking, I got you. But, you know, I'm not gonna, like, go full volume right now, my guy. Not gonna go full volume right now. Alright, that volume is good. If it's too loud, okay, I'm gonna reduce it a little bit. Might be too loud, man. I don't want it to be too loud. 12 more minutes, guys. Uh, Frankwoods versus Price. I'll go with Frankwoods. Both are good, but Frankwoods for sure. I'm getting hella right swipes, bro. Uh, why are your comments getting blacklisted? Post and horny because of quarantine, and I messaged them for a hookup right off the bat. Okay, got you, Pitbull. Yeah, but dude, watch out for the Roni, man. Watch out for the Roni, Mr. P Pitbull. Can you stimulate us while we uh, wait? So you want me to... Okay, gameplay or this, guys? Gameplay or this? Should I put some gameplay on so you guys are stimulated and shit like that? I can do that, man. But I cut the countdown, though. All right, let me actually do that for you guys. I got you, man. I got you, man. Let me actually get the countdown here. So 1120. Let's put 1100. Zero, zero. Let's put 11 minutes. All right. Boom. Let me get the countdown up on the stream here. Give me a second and I'll... Uh, I'll play some gameplay here so you guys are stimulated. I, I see it, man. I see how it is. You guys want to fire dopamine, so... Nothing wrong with that, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that, chat. Get that here. Okay, so that one's good. Cut this. Ta Tony, thank you for subscribing. Welcome on in. Alright. Get that gameplay back here. And there we go, man. Get some... Got you guys some gameplay here. Okay, my... <laughs> my guy says that in the, in the chat. I'm a Sony pony. Yo, the fact that you guys, some of you guys are accepting accepting that you're a Sony pony, that's wild. Uh, okay, I'm a gay box player. <laughs> I see you, man. I see you. Yeah, the fact that you, I like you guys, man. I love you guys, man. You guys are... I'm glad that you guys don't get offended. I'm pretty sure some of you guys will get offended, but you, you're not really like... Like, a lot of you guys are high testosterone males, so I, I like that. I like that about you guys, that you guys don't get offended. I like that. I like that. Everybody like that. Everybody like that. Give yourself, you know what? That's a give your give yourself a pat on the back because no, a lot of people I look I watch a lot of streams and a lot of people get offended in their in their in the chats, but you guys don't get offended. I mean, some of you do, but but most of you guys don't get offended. You know, if you're a you're, like if you don't get offended, you're a like tier 100 chat in a nutshell. PS5, but one thing. PS5, but one thing to get PC. Sony Pony. Everybody drop like. Everybody like that. Wall him up. Uh, I'll wall him up. I'll wall him up when the the stream, the actual stream, is live in eight minutes, and I won't talk when they're talking. I got you, man. Uh, where's the gameplay though? Uh, eight minutes. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. The stream is actually live, but it has a countdown, so like I'm putting some gameplay instead, so you you're stimulated, so I I can make so people are stimulated, right? Still, I need help. I'm home, home alone, and was uh, using the the grill, even though my parents said don't. And the grill blew up and my I'm missing a finger and bleeding. I don't want to get in trouble. Yo, if... Dude, call 911, man. Get the get the paramedics. If, I'm not sure if you're joking or not, but uh, you're probably joking. Because if you're if you're real about that, you would not be on YouTube right now. You know what I mean? So, case closed. Spotted a liar in the chat. We got a guy who's capping. But if you're not camp, capping and if you're being real, get the paramedics, bro. Call the paramedics like ASAP, bro. Gandu box, router over brick. GTA 6 India, dude. I would love, I would love GTA 6 to be set in, uh, like at least, like. I want GTA 6 surely to be set in US, but I want like a bit of Canada. I want a bit of India as well in it. Just so, just kind of like mix up, right? It's gonna be hilarious, bro. Like, it's gonna be good for the memes. A real gamer respect every devices. Facts. Somebody give this man a Benji. See, that's what I said earlier. Like. Uh, like bunch of you guys are like high testosterone males and that's proof of that That's proof that my chat has high testosterone 
Uh, most of you guys do. Most of you guys do. At least the people who are sub, right? Like, if you're if you're a new viewer, uh, you might not be uh, familiar and you might not have uh, high testosterone. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. You might have, though. You might have high testosterone. Though. But uh, we never know. Banana Peel, what's up? How you doing? Yo, what advice uh, would you give to someone who uh, spent days of editing in his videos, but the videos don't perform well? Macers, that's... I've been there, man. I've been there for years, bro. Like, it happens to the best of us. The best advice I will give is that, like... Uh, I'm not sure what type of videos you make. Prioritize... Prioritize... Making videos for people. Prioritize... Videos that people want to watch over what you want to create. You want to find a balance, though. You want to uh, make videos about something you like, but... You want to do... Because when, if, you wanna, if you're if you real about YouTube, you want to really do YouTube, it doesn't matter what you like or you don't like. You want to do... You want to make videos about what people want to watch, okay? You don't matter, okay? Like, I don't matter. You want to create what people want to watch. You're, you're there for the people, alright? So, uh... Tweak your mindset to that, but obviously find something you like as well, otherwise you're gonna hate it. Like, I love Call of Duty, but recently I've been, like, covering all the gaming news, like, with PS5. If you haven't subscribed, you know what I do, right? Like, I cover, I've been covering all the big gaming news with Call of Duty. Because, like, recently all what we're getting with Call of Duty is, like, playlist changes. I don't like that. That's why I was like, you know, I, I gotta branch out, like, I gotta cover other stuff. I, because I really like that. So just do what you like, but also make videos about what people are gonna, you know, that are gonna watch. So... That's probably the best advice I can give. Just keep at it, man. YouTube is like a treadmill. You gotta do it every day, every day, especially if you're small. Uh, like me, or if you're smaller than me, like, you gotta do it every day. Like, you gotta become the quadring, man. Like, I know people meme on quadring. I watch quadring. I, I, I don't hate it. Yo, thank you for subscribing. Welcome on in. But, like, you gotta become a quadring. That's, like, the best advice I can give you. You gotta become a quadring. No hit to quadring. You gotta do it. You gotta become a... You gotta become, quad, like, quadring. He puts, like, what, five, seven videos a day? God damn it, man. If only I can do that. I can't, but you gotta become quadring. Uh, I don't care what you upload. Uh, yeah, so you're gonna... I, I, I'll, I'll try. I'll try to make good videos, okay? I got you, man. I'll, I one day you'll care though. I hope you care, man. But if you don't care, hey, nobody cares, right? So yeah, at the end of the day, nobody cares. So there's that too. So you gotta create what people wanna watch though. Uh, lol, he be grinding four minutes until Call of Duty gameplay. Uh, four minutes till Gamescom live stream, and then we're getting uh, we're we're gonna have Call of Duty gameplay throughout the stream, possibly towards the end. I don't think they will start the stream off with that, or maybe they will. I don't know. All right, let me see where they at, man. Okay, four more minutes, guys. All right, let me cut the gameplay. Uh, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna put the actual stream now. And get that. Yo, Kak Kakashi, thank you for subscribing. Welcome on in. Love your name, man. Yo, you're reminding me of Takashi, who wanted Modern Warfare to be... Uh, to be censored last year. Uh, we watch you because of your humor, brother. You make uh, the news enjoyable. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, brother. GTA 6 will never come. They lied to us. It will come when... It will come when we're 80 years old, alright? I'll put it that way, man. Read my comments for once. I got you, Olivia. How you doing? DMs ASAP, please. It's about the gameplay. Alright, let me open up. Uh, can I read that? No, what am I reading? The time when the gameplay is what? Oh, damn. Okay. Alright, I won't read that. J just because, uh, you know what I mean? Like, uh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll text you around. I won't read that. Uh, three minutes, guys. I probably message you with broken English, but you'll be able to make out of it, right? Like, I tried to type, type fast. Uh, grammar does not exist, okay? Especially on the internet. Ugh, get back to you guys. So, how you guys feeling? My man, GTA General, coming in with two pounds. How you doing, man? Thank you for the two paper. I believe zombies will be good. Uh, I hope, man. I really want to see zombies good. Zombies be good. Bryson, what's up? Uh, Bryson, what's up? How you doing? Mr. Musical, how you doing? Bryson, I see you. I've got yours and Noah J stream on and he got the full on music. Uh, I'll play, I'll play the music. I'll, I mean, two minutes and I'll, uh, put the whole stream on, okay? Or, 
like unmute the stream and like you know let you guys hear and shit like that i got you but two minutes man that's all we gotta wait sadat what's up are you doing cringe lakasha philip dayfon yo who's i swallow come who's i swallow i don't know man i see you cringe king what's up the person below me is gay you're coming up blacklisted like geese I see what you're trying to do, man. You're like trying to copy that Twitter that always tweets out stuff. Like the the person below me is gay. The person above me is a stud muffin. The person this, the person that. I see what you're trying to do, man. One more minute, guys. Let's hope that the gameplay hit people in the G spot, man. I I hope the gameplay is good. Skill update. I I tied the towel around hand and taped it to the tape. It was too long, so tried to cut it, but uh, but it cut my hand open because my right hand is hurt. Dude, you're definitely joking around, Johnny. You're definitely joking around. You wouldn't be on YouTube though. But call the paramedics if that's true though. What are you excited for besides Black Ops Cold War, dude? Xavis uh, X10. Yo, why your username like that? XTVC. Uh, th welcome to the VIP lounges. Nice having you around. Uh, personally, Cyberpunk and Call of Duty. Cyberpunk and Call of Duty, man. Bro, how come you not know I did like like I'm far behind. I'm far behind on that. Somebody help me, man. Somebody help me. I'm far behind on that. But uh Cyberpunk and Call of Duty 100%. I want Cyberpunk. I wish Cyberpunk was before Call of Duty. I wish Cyberpunk came out in September TBH cuz now it's like Call of Duty comes out on November 13 and then we got like Gandu Sala Pan. I like Cyberpunk on just a just a week after it's gonna be bad bro it's gonna be it's gonna be bad for me though like because i i want to try to play both games and i know i won't be able to fully play both games at once because I'll, I'll be like making videos and streams and whatnot but i'll try my very best but what is that one game you guys are really looking forward to yo come august come or not august uh come september uh we're getting mafia one remake october are we getting anything in october i don't think we are okay let me go full volume uh, opening night live may contain games inappropriate for children viewer discretion Hello and advice. welcome to the gamescom opening night live 2020 pre-show i'm kyle bossman and this is my hot and stinky apartment i realize you probably have a lot of questions right now like who is this guy not that important is this the show no just to be clear this is the pre-show this is okay, pre-show boys. For the next 20 minutes, getting excited about opening night live proper. The big show. <laughs> that one is going to look nice. That one's got Jeff Keighley. That one's got a budget. It's going to be fancy looking. Not like this. And then you might be thinking, wait, is the next 20 minutes just this guy with his headband talking to me about stuff? No. It's going to be some of that. But most of the show is trailers. We have world premiere trailers right here for the pre-show. If anything, my job is just to smile at you and fill time in between trailers. <laughs> In fact, we should, I think, start off with a trailer. We'll talk about opening night live. It's going to be big and fun and awesome, but I feel like the best way to kick off a pre-show is just to get right into one. Our first world premiere trailer uh, is a game that was just announced earlier this year at an Inside Xbox event. From just was checking if it works or not. No. This is Scarlet Nexus. All right, Scarlet Nexus, boys. Let's get it. So 20 minutes till the actual show. Go laugh, okay? I better not, I know that if people If you're just will now be... joining us, this is the Gamescom Opening Night Live 2020 pre-show. That was a trailer for a video game and not an anime. And I'm Kyle Boss, I'm not important. For the next 20 minutes, less than, much less than now, we are counting down the minutes. Dude, the internet has been so bad show, that the man gotta Live, like put this you're gonna get fresh looks discretions out, man. Fall Guys Season 2, Destiny 2. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War was just announced yesterday. We're already going to see more of that tonight. Lots of things to see. Sydney Goodman from IGN is going to be oh, giving Sydney out the Gamescom Awards for Best PC Game, Best PlayStation Game, Best Xbox Game, as well as talking about some brand new shows from IGN that they are debuting this week at Gamescom. Lots of stuff in ONL. It is going to be a chunky, thick show. But in the meantime, for this pre-show, it is time now for another world premiere on our end. The game next that we're going to see is called Quantum Error. And parents, let me warn you now. It's time to put the kids to bed. It's oh shit, yo, he's picking up the language. Here. I don't care. Yeah, let the wives the do the dishes. Hemisphere, put the kids the to afternoon. bed, man. <laughs> yo, he, he <laughs> Yeah, if okay, I wanna know how many of you guys have been subbed. One if you have been subbed, two if you're not. Like, cause that's the reference, man. Yeah, let the guys put your kids to bed. Hide your wives, or in fact, today let them do the dishes, man. Let them, yo, time out, man. Time out, man. 
We did he it. did not say what he did. He did. did, did, did what, what did he say? God damn. That artifact. Still going can't. around. Yeah, he's picking up the language. He's picking up the language. A lot of ones. Uh, if you're new here, subscribe. Your name will pop on the stream. I'll keep all of you guys on the loop. 20 minutes. This is pre show. Oh, that zombie game. God damn. Okay, this is better than the last game they showed. Yeah. But any of you guys gonna buy that? So far, it's pretty low dopamine, but. Oh, goddamn. volume. Yo, Chris, thank you for subscribing and welcome on in. Tyrion, Alexis, everybody. Ice Bear. Will be infinite. Imagine having RTX 2080 80 Ti, and these are the games here that we're getting. Goddamn content error. Yeah, man. Let's get something else, man. The graphics can go pound sand. We've got a lot more world exclusive trailers to go, more pre show to go, and interview with Jeff Keighley. Next up, we have a car brand synonymous with racing and innovation and a key partner of Gamescom for years Ford. They're about to exclusively reveal the first ever car made with gamers for gamers. Thank you for subscribing in. Check it out. For gamers, all right, for the gamers. In wow, we brought ray tracing boys to gaming and Team Fordzilla was born. And that was just the beginning. In May, we launched Project P1 to design a car in collaboration with gamers for gaming. This project was a global first and our designers let their imagination go wild. So on to our first- Mind go boom, guys, mind go boom. Please welcome our first ever Team Fordzilla Project P1 model. Okay, that looked good. At least, uh, now we're gonna see the... The model look good, now we're gonna see the actual... God damn. Okay, that look good. But Tesla or Ford? I'll go with Tesla. Yo, thank you for subscribing, David. But that look nice, okay, that look nice. Yo, god damn. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> yeah, look at those, uh... Look at that graphic. Look at the graphics, man. Not bad, not bad. This was definitely handmade. Team Fordzilla. And now our second global announcement. Not You're bad. We're so excited with Project P1 that we are now committing to make a real world version of this groundbreaking car. Groundbreaking. This is the only. This is only the beginning. If I wasn't if a gamer. I didn't have games. I think. I guess I would just be writing a lot more. <laughs> Video games and writing are absolutely my two favorite passions, and I just managed to combine them into a job. So I feel like, honestly, I probably would have finished a couple of books. <laughs> yeah, that's a, this is so sad. Can we get two I likes? I mean, I'm a, I like tech, but oh, my man Lamar to do things on the technology. And so if I can't play things, if I wasn't into gaming, yeah, it'll be a lot of TV watching. If there's out there a universe where yeah, I'm not pretty a gamer, sad stuff. Can we get two likes, guys? To game. I think I will try something to put some smile on the face of uh, everyone. He's a good guy. Good I would guy. Watch a lot more movies and read more books and get bored. <laughs> yeah, man. What the Welcome back to the opening night live pre show. Uh, this is only the second year of ONL existing, uh, but I think it is safe to say that this year's will be unconventional so to tell us what to expect from the show this year please welcome jeff keely have you seen the new rtx 30 uh, jeff yeah, keely host and executive producer of opening night live how you doing jeff i'm doing great kyle how are you i'm doing okay uh so back in april gamescom said we're going digital this year when did you start thinking about onl and how that's going to look well, we knew last year we were going to do another ONL this year because it was a big success. But yeah, we had no idea what format it was going to take. Normally, we are in Cologne. This year, we're doing it uh, from Los Angeles. But I, I actually, Gamescom came to me and said we definitely want to do ONL. It's a it's a digital event for the whole world. So even if we don't have something physically in Germany, we still want to do this show with you. And I said I was doing Summer Game Fest, and maybe we can bring all these things together to create this 
grand finale uh, for the show. And, and all summer, I was really hoping to to do a show that was a little bit bigger than I've been, you know, broadcasting from home here for many months. And I wanted to do something with kind of a set and a little bit of spectacle to it uh, and bring the whole industry together. And that's that's what we're going to do. So is it uh, going to be just, just as long we wait as a, a regular bit. show? Yeah, we have like two hours of stuff to show folks um, from across the industry. You know, like... Yeah, you know, we're going to have gameplay for stuff, Call of Duty. Uh, the biggest games out there like Call of Duty and then a lot of really, uh, you know, interesting titles. Of course, we're going to have uh, some amazing next-gen stuff in the show and uh, and Fall Guys Season 2, which... Uh, yeah, Fall Guys. You know, Fall Guys is pretty good. Over the yeah, guys, it's coming up, weeks. man. So it's, it's, it's coming up. It's really fun to have, like, the big and the small and the, the, the surprises and next-gen all blended together. But yeah, it's a, it's a full-blown show, two hours. Is it going to be just back-to-back -back trailers or are you going to do some interviews and demos you will definitely see trailers i have leaked call of duty gameplay from tiktok for you play demos, uh, uh, thank you for the two paper well. uh, is that the 12 second uh, gameplay leak i've uh, already seen it though some special guests and or 30 minutes if it's 30 minutes hit me up on twitter right out of the gate is that this is not sort of wall-to-wall shock and awe announcements of new games similar to last year yeah, thank you for the two paper man have some really big updates on games that fans are excited about uh, and meaningful, but you know, the kind of big surprise announcements. Uh, we have a few things in the show and, and you know, we have lots of great things planned for the Game Awards, but similar to last year, this is really a showcase of like big holiday games, games coming next year that you know about. So, you know, I, I would s tell people to set their expectations to be really meaningful updates on existing games versus blowing you away with, uh, you know, surprise shock announcements hi razor thank Great. you for subscribing jeff i am personally looking forward to the show well that, me too it's it's been really fun to build this but you know even working with our team it's been challenging um to do things safely in the the era of of covid and it's been uh, it's been, meant a lot to me that Gamescom has said we still want to do this show, and I think for all of us in the industry, we want that big. Yeah, Call of Duty is coming up, guys. So don't I'm worry. Just really excited, honestly. Like, leave home, do like, uh, uh, have a set, and you'll see. We've got. It's gonna be a big stream. And, lights, and it's it's. If we do it right, we're going to hopefully create that magic moment that we haven't felt this summer, right? And a lot of the events this summer have been pre-taped and they've been they've been great and and lots of cool game info. But I really wanted to do something live with a lot of energy to it. So if, if we do things, uh, right, Misha, the volume is full. See. Very cool. Good luck with everything. Thanks, Kyle. Thanks for hosting the pre-show. I'm I'm doing my best. <laughs> So just so we're all on the same page about what just happened, that was basically an interview with my boss using questions that I mostly already know the answers to. So considering all that, I think that went pretty well. <laughs> Next up, we do have another world premiere trailer, baby. Vroom, vroom, honk, honk for Dirt 5. All right, Dirt 5. All right, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Dirt 5. Is Dirt 5 coming to PS5 too? I think it is, right? Or is it Xbox exclusive? Thank you for the subscribing, Gabriel. What's up? How you doing? Music good. Discover, create, load, publish. M mind is not blown though, but game's kind of good though. Call of Duty. Yeah, it's coming up, boys. It, they already confirmed two-hour live stream with trailers, gameplays, all that. It's gonna be a. They got a lot to show us. I uh, don't like dog. 120 FPS, man. It's for PS5 and Xbox. So Sony Ponies, Xbox, both get happy. Yeah, mine is not blown though. Let me know, you guys copying this? Iris, thank you for subscribing. Mine is not blown, man. I don't know why. Mind blown, yeah or no? Nah. Two hours, I'm fine, I die over here. Yo, <laughs> they're probably gonna show the Call of Duty gameplay towards the end. W or L? I'm not feeling the game, personally. A lot of L's. Underwhelming. Yeah, the music's probably gonna be copyrighted, man. Like, that's the, that's the, oh, Vampire. Oh, goddamn. Yeah, mind is not blown. Not blown. Pretty low dopamine, low dopamine, low dopamine content. A lot of L's to be kind of Okay, okay, chat, that's it. All right, can stop that. October 16th. So you think like a vampire bit a car and sucked out gas? To be continued.
It is now time for the part of the Two pre-show. more minutes, guys. I know this but has I've been, been low dopamine. I've been reading your live comments. I see them right now. Everybody's blowing up, demanding Kyle's 10 reasons to be excited for opening night live. Well, let's kick it off. Reason number 10 to be excited for opening night live 2020, feeling excited for next gen again. Number nine, Jeff Keighley wardrobe reveal. Number eight reason to be excited I, for opening I better night live not see you guys Destiny fighting in the chat, okay? Over good. Xbox on PS5. Seven, it will mean this pre-show is finally over. Number six, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Number Let's five, get reason it. to be excited Yo, for Poop Noodle, thank you for the two paper. Shadow I heard that everyone is a tier 100 chat. Yo, thank you for the two paper, my Number man. Number four, Fall Guys Season 2. Uh, the Number volume three, is max. reason to be excited for ONL 2020. Actual gameplay from a mysterious PlayStation 5 exclusive. Ooh. Number two. Everything else in my life sucks right now. And the number one reason to be excited for opening night live 2020, Jeff Keighley said it's gonna be good. We have one Yo, final this man is actual trailer chat. to show off. And this trailer is an announcement of a Switch version of a popular game from 2018 that can only be described as dinosaurzy. Enjoy. Yo, this man is a chat though. Yeah, we need to, they need to raise his pay. This guy's this guy's pretty good with the pre-show and shit like that. Oh my god. Well, the one This is Fortnite dinosaur version. Well, bah, because flip. they believe Yo. that they were in control. In-game footage. And control. <laughs> well. Chat. Chat. Humanity is desperate for it. Oh, it's an Nintendo game. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Never really possessed. That's fair. That's fair. I probably, Easy probably let out. Can be tenacious I should have waited a little bit. Stubborn. Oh, look at that tail. Goddamn. Yo, did, did you guys see that vertical takeoff? Unique creatures is knowing the power of what we're up against and still believing that we can win. <laughs> yeah, look at those T-Rex hands, man. Jurassic Evolution Complete Edition coming November 3rd. All right, how many of you mother mother lovers will be buying this game? Let me know though. It's Nintendo though, so it's fine. It's fine. But I was about to say RTX 2080 Ti, and we gonna get That's this it. game. That's it. That's all we have for you in this very pre-show. Please be excited for the actual opening night live, in which you'll see some Destiny 2. You'll see Fall Guys Season 2. You'll see Black Ops Cold War. That mysterious PlayStation 5 demo. Some things we've probably never heard of before. I think it's gonna be a very good show. I'm personally excited about it. Me. I should thank you actually for putting up with my nonsense for the last 20 minutes. It is appreciated. But seriously. Yeah, we gotta give it up for this man. We gotta, yeah, he's a, he have done a great job in the pre-show. Like probably, I never seen pre-show be this good though. Yeah, pre-show for a pre-show it was good, right? When we feel the screen's lagging. What the off? Disconnected. Hold on a second, I'm gonna refresh it. All right. There are always repercussions. Do we have what it takes? I'm gonna refresh it. Make sure it's live and good. Okay, should not lag now. What we're doing here could change things forever. Tonight. We yeah, bring it should the be good now. together. You're with us now. We celebrate who we are. Yes, it's humanity's chance to If it lags now, then it's on their end. I'm with you every step of the way. Low dopamine, the yeah. The, I know the pre-show has been low Welcome dopamine, but Gamescom. opening night live. It should be good now. It should be good now. Yo, Far Cry as well, goddamn. Gamescom opening night live. Let's get it. Call Hello of Duty. Everyone, I'm Jeff Keeley, and welcome to Gamescom opening night live 2020. Now, this year, Gamescom is, of course, a little different than normal, and I hope all of you and your families are safe and healthy at home. In 2020, games have comforted and connected us more than ever. And with the launch of PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X later this year, games are only going to get better. Well, all summer, I was hopeful we could get to this very moment, a big live showcase filled with more than 35 games to kick off Gamescom 2020. Oh, Tonight, God we'll damn. get a first look at Fall Guys Season 2 and an extended Yo! gameplay demo of Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart for PlayStation 5. Plus, we might have a couple surprises along the way, too. But before we start, I want to acknowledge and thank all the game developers, marketers, and publishers who have worked under challenging circumstances to keep us entertained. This show is nothing without them or my production team, and doing a show at this scale safely is not easy, especially when all of you at home have some pretty insane expectations. I hope tonight reminds you why you love to play games. 
And with that, Let's we're going to move man. on to our first game with a game oh, that shit. was just announced yesterday. Yo, Call, Call of Duty. Duty Black Ops Cold War. And joining me is Dan Vondrack from Raven to tell us about the game and give you an exclusive sneak peek. Dan, how you doing? This fast, damn. I didn't think. Good, Jeff. Thanks for having me here. This is a... Uh been a dream project for us to work on from the from nearly the beginning of development we knew black ops cold war was going to be a direct sequel to black ops one and we loved the idea of returning to the pillars built the black ops franchise deniable operations conspiracy grounded in history and that shadowy world of paranoia and we get to mix all those together drop the player into the 1980s at the height of the cold war and it's really something that we know would feel relevant to today and also uniquely black ops well, you start playing with Black Ops, everyone wants to know characters. We saw yesterday in the reveal trailers, you know, some familiar faces. So, you know, Woods, Mason, like break it down. Um, how does this fit into the Black Ops cans? You said it's a direct sequel. So are we going to see a lot of familiar faces? Mm, yeah. Yeah, part of the, the fun delay of making on this game was bringing back the iconic characters like Woods and Hudson and Mason and seeing how all those personalities mix with some of the new characters. So the campaign takes place in 1981, and we love that we've been able to have so many connections to the original Black Ops and really be that direct sequel to the game. Uh, now, one thing that I'm really excited about this is your pushing the storytelling in kind of a new direction with some branches and some options about how you play through the campaign. Can you maybe walk us through your thinking there? Yeah, one of the driving forces from early in development was to say, let's take this Black Ops thrill ride and infuse it with some player choice and some player freedom, anything we can do to give the player a little more ownership over their experience. So that starts with allowing the player to create their own character for the Cold War campaign. They can name them and pick a military background and really pretend they are that Black Ops soldier that they want to be. From there, we wanted to take some of our missions and infuse optional objectives, multiple paths, and some player choice moments inside some of those missions. And it was fun to find that uh, balance guys, chill between out, the chill hard out driving, the call of action, out, and these more non-linear experiences in some, inside some of the missions. So with choice comes the player wanting to feel that impact. So some of those choices earlier in the game and some towards the end will actually shape the ending You're of right, the, he for the, two, the campaign. All right, so multiple endings to this game. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That's That was one of the big things for us. It's like we love that Black Ops has always been willing to take risks, and we all know they did some of this in Black Ops 2. And with our story and with these features, we love playing homage to those early Black Ops games. Oh, yeah, multiple endings will be will all it be right. canon uh, though or Dan, uh, we are excited to see more of it i know multiplayer reveal is coming in september but uh since you got a switch there maybe you could flip the switch on something exclusive for us what, what are you gonna see you know that kind of lagged yeah, up yeah absolutely this is really exciting because this will be the first time we've done this outside the walls of the development studio this is a scene from earlier in the game and it's a critical point that really it shows the narrative of the world, shows this threat that our heroes are going to be battling. So let's take a look. Yo, check it out. Let's game. This is going to be gameplay. World premiere. Uh, check it out. 1943. Detailed information from the Manhattan Project was stolen from Los Alamos by the Russian spy known as Perseus. 1968. Vietnam War. Viet Cong soldiers orchestrated by Perseus attempted to steal an American-made nuclear bomb from a U.S. firebase. Five days ago, while on a mission, we acquired intel that Perseus is in play again and planning an attack on the West. Mm -hmm. Perseus. Oh shit, that's gameplay, CIA boys. CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. Mr. Hudson. We're all aware of Perseus. We're also aware he's more myth than fact. I mean, personally, I think he's nothing more than the Russian boogeyman. General Haig, mm. allow me to introduce the man who is suited to respond to that. CIA clandestine special officer, Russell Adler. He's one of the Adler. few people even come close to capturing Perseus. Uh, Mr. Adler, why should we take this Perseus threat seriously? You don't have to, sir. <laughs> yeah, then a lot of innocent people are gonna die. Why do you say that? So New voice actor. Every time Perseus has come into play, it's shifted the balance of the Cold War. After 13 years of silence, if he's active, something big is gonna happen. 
Something that will affect the free world. Hmm, goddamn. Okay, this is like cutscene, right? I, I honestly actual gameplay. Here comes Ronald Reagan. Mr. President. Sir, Mr. President. Mr. President, this is Jason Hudson and Russell Ab I know their names. Who do you think approved their last mission? Oh god damn, dude. My men with bars. Yes, sir, we believe it is. Can you stop Perseus? We can, sir. I've already submitted the requisition for my team. Sir, their requests are highly irregular. Most likely illegal. If the press gets old. What the hell are you talking about? You know who we are? Every mission we go on is illegal. Sergeant Woods, plausible deniability is the backbone of our work. Al, we're talking about preventing an attack on the free men and women of the world. Give Mr. Adler whatever he wants. Gentlemen. That nod, yeah. You've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. There is no higher duty. There is no higher honor. And while few people will know of your struggles, rest assured, the entire free world will benefit. I know you won't fail us. All right, let's see some gameplay, boys. That, that's pretty good, though. That's pretty dope, but uh, come on, gameplay. Yo, where? No, yo, where? Yo, where's gameplay? Where's gameplay? Tonight we have some new game announcements for you guys as well. Maybe you later, but... A new next-gen narrative action-adventure game from Reflector Entertainment in Montreal. It's called Unknown 9. The game tells the story of Haruna, a woman raised on the streets of India and haunted by visions of her own death. Haruna struggles to understand her mysterious, innate abilities to manipulate the unseen. Check out this first look. L or W? L or W? That was good, don't get me wrong, that was good, but it still needed some gameplay. Oh, she do be looking like a... Okay, no, yeah. Yeah, she might be 13, she might be 13. Yeah, I gotta... Oh, goddamn, gotta stop it right there, man. Yo, what the... This has more gameplay, okay? This has more... I know it's CGI, but this has more gameplay than Call of Duty 2020. Oh my god. Massive L. L. I think Adler is bad in my opinion. Can be though. I think Adler is bad. Red guys. Now we gotta wait like till what September 9 in order to get that. Stand users. No one cares. Show COD. They showed the cutscene and the cutscene was pretty nice, honestly. But we gotta get that gameplay. Alright. How you guys feel about it? We're gonna get like 34 more games now. I'm just gonna upload that short little video. Announced yesterday. Yo, call. Okay, make sure it's muted here. Alright, I'm gonna upload this video. All right, let's get to the gameplay. One of this year's biggest games has been Doom Eternal. Tonight, we've got an exclusive first look at the campaign expansion called The Ancient Gods Part One. Check this out. We have been allies for some time now. Yeah, thank you for subscribing. Yeah, I'm gonna up try and upload that fast. Like as a video. And we'll get back to this one, alright? Yeah, don't call the FBI. Hold up, like... Hold up, hold up, chat. Hold up. Time out, time out. Alright, yo, I gotta make a thumbnail too. Ah, oh, god damn it, bro. I make sure all that good. But yo, how? What what'd you guys think of that cutscene? Yeah, I'm hoping that they they will show gameplay later during the stream. We never know, right? Yeah, thank you for subscribing, Atlas. Okay, boom. 
Okay, I gotta get that thumbnail, man. I gotta make that thumbnail here real quick. And we'll get back to this. Okay, is this good enough? Yeah, that's good enough. Alright, hopefully my stream don't crash. I'm trying to make a thumbnail now. 2020 marks the 25th anniversary of a legendary game studio, BioWare. Tonight, Casey Hudson and the team wanted to give everyone around the world a little taste of what's next. Casey, over to you. Hey Jeff, it's great to see you again. You know, six years ago, we were on the stage with you at the 2014 Game Awards, accepting the Game of the Year for Dragon Age Inquisition. And since then, we've been imagining new ways to use next generation technology to bring the world and characters of Dragon Age to life. We're still in early production, but we thought it was time to give you the very first look at how BioWare's passionate team second, of developers are crafting this very special game. Uh... I've been at Bioware for a really long time, so I've got to see it grow up and turn from a from a company of 35 people to a company of more than 300 people. We might get gameplay later during the stream, boys, There's but I think that's it industry. for There's that. Amazing stories to be told with other people. But we'll see. I love that character so much. <laughs> that's awesome. Don't lose hope we're yet, or I mean, lose hope. Don't, doesn't matter, lose hope. So we're always coming up with new stuff. Uh <laughs> We're always trying to improve, innovate, and bring new characters to life for our players and fans to enjoy. The world of Dragon Age really has got it all. It's got frontier stories, it's got mystery, it's got... Yeah, thank for the 10. Make, okay, let me get back to you. I'm trying to make a thumbnail and fast and I'll be with you, okay? Kind of a fantasy setting. What do you, you really say, like Blake? Okay, uh, Yo, you gotta stop, yo. Can't... Time out, man. You Dragon can't say that. To me is a wonderful world to play in. You can't. Somebody call the FBI. I am really excited about the future of Dragon Age. Okay, I'm trying to be fast, this Chad. Is an original world, original flora, original wildlife, original architecture. That makes it fun to explore and discover. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, thumbnails ready. In the next Dragon Age, we get an opportunity to to see new things, new places, and interact with people who lived and grew up in these spaces as well. All right, thumbnails ready. For the game we're working on now, we want to tell a story. What happens when you don't have power? What happens when the people in charge aren't willing to address the issues? The things that you can expect in the next installment are going to be stories that focus on the people around you and the friends and family you make. Something that we'll be able to look forward to in Dragon Age is a really close relationship with game characters who really become real for you. We want characters to either be loved or hated. One of the best examples of that is Solus. Half the community wants to kill him, half the people want to marry him, and another part wants to do both. They call me the Dread Wolf. What will they call you when this is over? Bioware and EA has been one of the forerunners in using motion magic technology, and that makes it way more realistic. I'll play that again for you guys, okay? Walk Later. And move and interact in the world. Players wanting that suspension of disbelief that this wonderful collection of digital pixels is actually a living, breathing soul. No, no, no. It's okay. That's the good kind of rumble. All right, I'm with you guys now. I'm done. I help with the creature design team as well. With the so thumbnail? Like the I'm uploading that clip go for uh, as a separate the video, right? Dies on my watch. For the wardens. Choice is a big part of what Dragon Age is as a franchise. The decisions you make can affect change in the world. Decision making can mean that a party member lives or a party member dies, and it means owning your outcome and reactivity to the choices that you do make. I just love the possibilities that Dragon Age offers us, and I'm excited to explore a lot more of them. To me, that potential is what gets you up in the morning. It's a fantastic opportunity every time. Yo, this is so sad. Can you get two likes? All right, I'm ready. Okay, I wanted to have timestamps too, you know what I mean? Next All right, up, be good. it's time for something special. 
Alright, time for something special. Okay, right on time, boys! Let's get it! I'm back. I was working on a video. I was, uh, like, making a thumbnail on the other monitor. Now I'm with you guys, okay? I promise, man. I'm, I'm with you guys, alright? I think there's been a serious You got a boomer? Wow, wait, you're, uh, what, what's his name? Back to the Future? I'm Evan L. Brown. Doctor of Physics, not of Medicine, and certainly not that quack from Rick and Morty. Yeah, we know who you are, but what are Jeff, you doing here? I did come back from the future to this precise moment. Yo, that's good August acting, man. Oh, shit. Because it's imperative we launch Surgeon Simulator 2 right now. A and what exactly do you have to do with Surgeon Simulator? <laughs> During the mid 20th century, some friends of mine from Bernard Shire University invented a state of the art. Medical That's some good acting, man. Facility, otherwise known as the Surgeon Simulator Training Program. Now, seven years later, we've digitized the experience. It's unbelievable. Oh man! The program through your computer and be medically trained from the comfort Bob of your sick. keyboard. Bob's obviously sick. And it's available as of <gasps> Great Scott this very moment. Yeah, Buddha City, again. I want a world premiere. Anybody get the reference? Of some of the incredibly successful test subjects who have already completed the course. So you're saying a world premiere will save our future? Only time will tell. And speaking of time, I'm off to another world premiere. Avengers 26, the return of the son of Thanos, opening 2077. And with that, I leave the fate of the human race in your hands. Just make sure you play Surgeon Simulator 2. No, the stream lagging too. Doctor's orders. Oh my god. Okay, so far, yo, has been poo poo, man. Like, the re the Gamescom has been poo poo. Do you guys agree? Has been pretty low dopamine, man. The, the stream so far has been low dopamine. You guys agree? Disagree? Let me know. One if you agree, one if you agree, two if you disagree. Let me know in the chat right now, boys. Okay, video's up. Low dopamine, man. Surgeon 2 simulator. Wow. Out now on Epic Game Store. W for Avengers. It's okay, cannot Doc be only Brown introducing Jack Septicai playing Surgeon Simulator. Only on opening night live. Alright, well if you thought that crossover was kind of crazy, wait until you get a load of this next game announcement that I don't think anyone probably saw coming. Check this out. Okay, might be good guys, might be good. World premiere. Might be good. That eagle sound effect though. This is not gameplay, man. Live action. All right, trying to climb up. Checking the glasses. Looking kind of lost. Yo, I got that Last of Us 1 vibe with that one. Loading up the P-Hubs. Getting a shot of dopamine. Here comes the zombies. Yeah, is this for Last of Us? State of, oh, State of Decay? Just for this one? God damn it, dude. I thought he was watching like the hubs on- Oh my god. Not even State of Decay, it's like... Dude, that live action <laughs> is so good. Live action was decent. For PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X, wow. 
My God. Tonight bro. is just the start of Gamescom 2020. Over the next three days, there are more streams from IGN and Webedia. How many of you guys are copying that? Games, Let me know. A digital cosplay contest and some special new shows just for Gamescom. Your portal for all things Gamescom this year is Gamescom Now, which you can check out at Gamescom.global. Now, one game you'll I want to be like this guy right now. Post show is this one: a return of two classic characters that I love. Check this out. I want to be like that guy, man. What do you mean? What the flip? All right, let me verify that. One elite force stands against the darkness. But even they could use some help. Here, slip on this little beauty for effect. Oh, what the uh, fuck, bro, dog? Like, like uh, we got Scooby Doo looking uh, ass. This? Stay tuned for more. Yo, can I see those after after memes in the chat? Black guy after meme in the chat. I wanna be. Uh, I wanna be like. Oh, I'm shaking. I wanna be, Sam I wanna be like John. Yes. All right, and now it's time to say hello to my wonderful co-host for ONL from IGN. Please say hello to Sydney Goodman. Oh, Sydney Goodman. Thank you, Jeff. What's up, everyone? Yo, she do be looking like a snag, though. And I am thrilled to be here. Gamescom is always such a fun <laughs> event, and throughout the show tonight, I'll be telling you about all the different ways that IGN is involved in this year's festivities. <laughs> but first, I have an award to announce. The winner of Best Nintendo Switch Game is Little Nightmares 2. Huge congratulations. Like I said, IGN is going to be here Guys, with, stop. with great shows such as Gamescom Studio, where you can find me and my co-hosts for all day long games content, interviews, Just joking, by the way, okay? Plus, we have Gamescom Awesome Indies, the show with and for indie developers. That premieres Saturday, August 29th at 7 p.m. Central European time, so be sure to tune in for more announcements and special guests. And now, let's go back to Jeff for our next big world premiere. Next big world premiere. Awesome. Thank you so much, Sid. Uh, we are so excited to see what's in the uh, the Gamecom studio and also awesome indies. And I'm going to be on the Daily Show tomorrow, so looking forward to that. All right, well, on to our next game. In the next World of Warcraft expansion, players will journey beyond the mortal world of Azeroth to a place where no living soul has set foot before. The Shadowlands, the afterlife of an entire Warcraft universe. The infinite realms of the Shadowlands are watched over by different yeah, factions. Stop, known as Chad, covenants, stop. Each holding She's not 16. Over a She's not 16. Aspect of the afterlife. And depending on how someone lived their mortal life, they may end up as part of one of these covenants when they cross over into the Shadowlands. Today, we're excited to give you a closer look at the noble and pure Kyrian Covenant from the realm of Bastion, who are Good. charged with carrying the souls of the dead into the beyond. So sit back and get ready for the world premiere of Bastion, the first in Blizzard Entertainment's new four-part series of animated shorts called Afterlives. Enjoy. You know, so far has been so low dopamine, man. Let's hope we get some good gameplay now. I... Oh my god. Dude, not gonna lie, they had us in the first half. Yo, thank you for the viewer, welcome on in my way. What's up, how you doing? So far, you guys, how you guys feeling? Low dopamine or you're hitting the G spot? With the game, summer game first. I wanna know, what, what are your thoughts? Save my soul. No, this is Welcome so sad. To Bastion. You led a truly selfless life. And for that, you have been chosen. Chosen? To shed your mortal burdens and join the ranks of the Ascended. Serving to ferry the souls of the dead unto the Shadowlands. I serve the light. And my work is not done. There is an evil that must be. There is no evil here. Plot the twist. The darkness was sealed within the maw long ago. You're wrong. 
He destroyed my home. Murdered my people and my king. He must be punished. You are an aspirant now. You must accept your new purpose. And purge yourself of Yo, this Athena desire. Yo, Athena to Kratos and God of War, though. What I desire is justice. That's what I'm imagining right now. Like, Athena to Kratos and God of War 1. Why are you training this soul? It is beneath your station as a paragon. Yeah, I, I apologize on their behalf, guys. We're gonna have some good games after this one. For his death. Hopefully gameplay for COD as well. You? Later. Many hopefully, maybe. Probably not, but hopefully. Ascend. Yes, but this one seems broken, Venios. Unlike any soul I have seen, I have begun to wonder whether he was deemed worthy of Bastion. By mistake. Be careful, Devos. I would not let the Archon hear such a thought. In time, he will forget. Trust our ways. Trust the path. Devos. Don't let the yeah, I'm not gonna let the dogs out. How long must we train? Until you are ready to ascend. Yeah, imagine and having RTX 20 ADTI. keeping me from ascension? Nothing but the memory of your mortal life. Probably Holy Cucumber, can probably. I forget when I can still feel his blade? <gasps> they gotta show us buck snacks, man, 100%. Wounded? Who did this to you? He was you got a Rexial dysfunction? Student. Same. He betrayed us all. Show me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, like big. I'm getting big God of War vibes right there. Any of you guys any of you guys played God of War? <sighs> but what the, the flip is that, man? His blade we need gameplay, man. This dark agent runs free on a mortal world with the power of the Maw itself in hand. Our realm is imperiled. Impossible. The Maw is inescapable. You must return to the path. If he had purged his life, we never would have known of this calamity. The path is flawed. Enough! The order of the Shadowlands depends on the execution of our eternal charge. You will abandon this course. Oh no. As you command, my Archon. Uther! The time of your ascension has come. I thought I was not ready. Dude, I'm gonna Do fall asleep you wish like to this. See him punished? If this is how it's gonna be, I'm gonna fall asleep, man. I, I apologize on their behalf, yourself. though. The moment. Yo, I fall. see you. Yo, dude, dude, prototype, prototype. We if you get the gameplay, him. you'll send it over to me, all right? Like, like last time, man. I love you, bro. I love you forever. I see. From press gameplay? Confirm, oh, not confirm yet, getting verification. Confirm from press gameplay. So that's what, like, the press saw. Okay, I got you. Guys, uh, a homie of mine just sent me a gameplay screenshot of Call of Duty 2020. Of course, I cannot show you that. Now, we might have something later. Play Titanic? Oh, dude, I don't know how to play the flute. I just know how, like, just that, man. I'm not a flute guy. He was That's all I know how to do. Student. Remember what he did. I learned, okay. I learned for you guys. Your vengeance, not vengeance, just not good. 
Justice will be served. Oh my god, bro. Okay, let's skip it, man. Let's skip it. Yeah, low, pretty low dopamine, I agree. I agree with you guys. Oh my god. Okay, finally. Let's move on. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that exclusive look Next. at Bastion. Now, we know many of you can't wait to experience Shadowlands, and our friends at Blizzard want you to know the wait is Thank almost you, over. Guys, you guys. Yeah, the friends are at Blizzard. Did this say Blizzard? It's a Shadow, Shadow. Okay, I touched Shadow Legend. Oh my god. Dude, why? Okay, I understand you gotta have some, like, cartoonish games, and I'm fine with it. Like, you know, Fall Guys pretty good. And games like that are, you know, we need that, but we also need some realistic, like, real-ass looking game too, man. Bro, they're gonna reveal COD. They showed the, the cutscene. They, there might be gameplay, but I, uh, highly unlikely. But let, we'll see, though. It's a two-hour stream, so there might be more. Yeah, Fall Guys is pretty good, though. But look at those hands. Look at the look at that flick of the wrist, dog. He beating up the chest. He's angry. Wow. World of oh, it's World of Warcraft. I know there are people who like this game, but come on, man. And if you guys into it, one if you are, two if you're not. I apologize on their behalf. Uh, October the forest, 27th. Sapphire. It is official, and we have so much more opening night live still to go for you. Ratchet and Clank, PlayStation Five. Uh, much more. Stay tuned. All right. But now it's time for the announcement of a new universe that is coming to gaming for the first time with a project from a Canadian studio. Check this out. Oh, can Canada. Canadian. Well, is that a mobile game? They this story returned. looks interesting. They corrupted. All right, Canada, don't Divided. fail us, man. Conquered. Yeah, this might be good. Until finally. Probably, the hopefully. The of the celestial realm were thrown open our last yo bumblebee is that you the storm cast eternals vengeance made manifest oh we got an elephant flying oh no it's a it's a dragon uh i thought there was an elephant flying god damn unbound unbroken we will take back amazing just Warhammer ages, yeah, hundred <laughs> percent good at buy. Oh my god. Okay, next. Let's uh, let's check the next game out. Twenty twenty one. Honestly, you guys like. What'd you guys, hey, you guys oh, may remember Crash back in June, I had some masked fun with my buddy Crash Bandicoot announcing Crash when software is about time. <laughs> with the game coming in October, Same. Crash, of course, had to come back for opening night live. So let's bring him out, everybody. Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, Crash good though. Crash Bandicoot what? good. He's where? Oh, do not fist bump, man. You gotta wash your hands, man. Now he gotta wash his hands. Goddamn. He's touching a lot of surfaces. He got the mask, but uh. Yeah, gotta wash the hands, gotta wash the hands. Yeah, the gameplay looking very good, guys. Uh, we got realistic gameplay. Uh, I bet RTX 2080 Ti users are gonna love it. Not yeah, Crash good, though. Okay, no memes, Crash pretty good, though. Poor Crash apparently didn't get the memo about Gamescom. But to tell us more about what we just saw, I'm joined by Lou Studdert from Toys for Bob. Uh, Lou, wh what Bob. did we see there Toys with for Bob. Uh, Crash and the Gamescom bot? <laughs> Uh, apparently you saw him wandering around Cologne, but uh, what he was hinting at was kind of our reveal of what we call flashback tapes, which are a brand new style of level that we are announcing here today. Okay, so uh, how do these flashback levels kind of play into the overall Crash 4 narrative? Yeah, so the way that the, the flashback tape levels work is that they are kind of a peak yeah, probably no gameplay boys. to the 90s when Neocortex was actually testing on Crash and Coco before the events of Crash Bandicoot 1. And they're kind of these devious...
puzzle rooms that we've made uh and they're really hard and they're really awesome and they're super creative and we can't wait to uh, get people's hands on them yeah, no, I, I, I got to play a demo of this a few weeks ago, and that was a challenge, so I can't imagine um, how nefarious these are. Um, how are they going to be sort of integrated into the game? Are they, they optional, like, offshoot stuff, or how do you, how do you get to them? Sure. So players actually have to collect the flashback tapes in the levels themselves. Uh, they're an object that they can pick up, and to actually pick them up, they have to reach them in the level without dying. Uh, it's, not really. Uh, petty. Kind of our homage to the death routes from the original trilogy. I've been playing so Spider-Man recently. Reach these objects in the level, pick them up, and then once they get them, they'll get access to these unique. You put a full screen on so the gameplay. Beyond mate. the pure challenge, uh, what other fun? So how how are these fun for players to kind of experience? And what do they get to do in them? Sure. So one of the things that we did was we actually put, put used these as, like I said, puzzle rooms. Really kind of fun, nefarious, devious ways for Crash to really express that pure platforming kind of uh, aspect of gameplay that we know and love about the franchise. But then narratively for us, it was really cool. Well, that gameplay looking good, though. Kind of a unique perspective to the franchise. This is the moment when Cortex is really excited about the prospect of Crash being on his team because Crash was originally created by Cortex. <laughs> so this is not gonna lie he does look like really Rings been of explored Redemption. in the games before awesome all right well crash 4 it's about time looks phenomenal Lou uh, we cannot wait to check it out uh, in October thanks for joining us I got you Mike yeah thanks for having me awesome all right well we will be right back after this for more gamescom opening night live 2080 uh, ti owners punching the air now they are Okay, finally a, terror. a good looking game. Or a decent looking game. The unseen predator. A rupture. That obliterates without warning. Wow. Alone, the hordes of Enoch will fall before me. Yeah, I got erectile dysfunction, man. But together. This entire planet. Buck snacks. Probably gonna get Buck snacks later. Exclusive PS5, you know, Buck snacks gameplay. Ways, yet we are drawn down gay the gay box series X, no game. Into the dark yeah, let's not fight over that, guys. Let's not fight over consoles, but okay. Dude, I, I. So far, EA, EA play was better. EA play was better. So far, at least. But this game is decent, though. Yeah, Luke, you're starting the whole uh, uh, Xbox versus PS5, though. Like, don't do that. Check. Uh, do look at MW Talk Twitter. Okay, hold on. All right, let me g give me a sec. I'm gonna check it out, my guy. Uh, what's Welcome the ad? To the hyperscape. Enter a contender. Yes, Believe as a champion. What's the ad? This is it. I cannot find it. I cannot find it, dude. Time to party. Hyperscape. You guys, I, I have not played Hyperscape. You guys played it? You guys like it? Oh yeah, and the MW2 goes dead, I know. I'm, in, I'm gonna check it. He's a homie. Yeah, that's the leaked image that I was sent. I've seen it. But uh, of course, I cannot show you guys. Welcome to Necromunda. I can see you're new here. Let me get you up to speed. The Underhive's named well. A sprawl of humanity suffering away like ants. Deep underground where we ain't causing trouble for the rich boys and girls, no matter how loud we are. And do we ever make some noise? Every Orlock says they could shoot the tail off a lashworth and they'd splash your head. But that's just one image though. Nah, L, W, Banger, erectile dysfunction. But when their armor, blood, skin, and will are of iron, it's a potent combo. 
why would someone like the next game will be good guys an all female gang of psychopaths drug hopefully dealers, the killers cloners and oh makes sense and Escher, yeah this is low dope mean like I'm I'm also falling asleep bro it's bad Goliath I guess you can tell right big. that's it like normally I don't fall asleep ever but this is just to live and they're just as happy filling you with lead as they are smashing you to pieces with a power mold. Now, mixing that whole pot together in a place like this, you can imagine what happens. Yeah, this is that ruined looking Chaos, guy from Black Ops 4. Gang warfare. For wealth. For power. Hell, sometimes just for fun. And what are you watching? So, Gamescom. Think you're ready? Necromunda but we're gonna have good games, good games though, best for last, right? So yeah, let's get through this, guys. Like we're what already halfway through. Maybe we are. Are we up? Além de realidades virtuais extremamente fidedignas e realistas, eu acho que também se encontra em formas mais expressivas e absurdas, quebrando cada vez mais esses paradigmas de formato de videogame que a gente tem e sendo usado mais do que nunca como uma ferramenta de expressão artística. I envision the future of gaming to be quite bright and quite online. The next generation of console will clearly allow AAA and indie developers AAA. to build more creative driven games that I hope will cover more diverse subjects. I want to play all kinds of stories about people and places both real and imagined. I want comedy games, I want autobiographical games. I really want to see what people I just want GTA 6, man. That's all I want. Eu vejo uma evolução obviamente gráfica, mas eu vejo ainda mais evolução na inteligência artificial e na maneira com a qual a gente interage com os games tudo em busca de experiências mais Yeah, thank you for subscribing, brother. Welcome on in. Much love, brother. Yeah, I think it's gonna roll. And we're gonna have good games, boys. Get ready. Like, best for last, as always. You know, one of the things I love about opening night is that we can show you the biggest games in the industry and also smaller titles that should be on your radar. So pay attention to this next game. It comes from a team of two in Sweden, Tuxedo Labs. Over the past three years, developer Dennis Gustafsson has built his own game engine to realize his vision for a fully destructible game world. What he's building has absolutely blown me away, so I asked Dennis to prepare a special trailer just for tonight. I hope you're equally inspired by the ideas in this next game, definitely one to watch. Teardown. Yo, Teardown? Okay, I okay. I'm I'm thinking teardown of like PS5, but definitely the game is called Teardown. Oh my god! Yo, what's the? Yo, time out! Time out! Playing a truly interactive environment might be good though, but like it's like Minecraft is okay. Okay, might be good though. Might be good. Thoughts, guys? Got our truck. You got water. Flamethrower, or like water thingy thrower. Oh, we got guns in this Minecraft thingy. GTA Mobile W, W or L? Nah, I think it might be good. Okay, this is decent though. I might sound like a hypocrite saying that, but there are certain games that are cartoonish that are like this that are actually fun to play. For example, Fall Guys, right? Like uh, Minecraft as well. Okay, you know what? I this might be good. At least first game that that's kind of decent. W or L? Uh, smash a like button for me to be brave and say that the game is decent. Okay. I know I just uh, but smash a like button for me to be brave and thank you for subscribing, brother. Welcome on in. I see you, man. If you're new, I cover all the gaming news. Call of Duty, everything like that. So if you're new, subscribe. Your name will pop up on the stream. Tear down. Okay. So first game that has been decent. Let me get some kids there, man. Last year at Opening Night Live, we announced Little Nightmares 2 to the world. Well, the team at Tarsier Call of Duty Studios tweeted? hasn't shown anything since, but that changes right now. Here is a first look at the gameplay of Little Nightmares 2, which is coming oh, yeah. next I to February, this. with more to come throughout I the just week at Gamescom, this. This including is a, a live demo on Gamescom Studio tomorrow. You know what? Let me tweet at them. That, that Minecraft-looking game was pretty decent, though. That I'll say. 
WWE Battlegrounds. WWE Hall of Famer Jerry the King Lawler. Oh and shit, I'm dude! With my old buddy Mauro Ronaldo to bring you all the over-the-top action in WWE 2K Battlegrounds. Okay, please don't be a mobile. I think it is a mobile game. <laughs> this is great. Dude, I used to watch WWE, WWE man. Thank you, Mr. Rabbit Long Run! You'll be looking like a snack. Oh no, hold on to your toupee, Moro. Look out below. WWE is L I T. You know, I'm a little more old school than Moro, so I can't wait to see these WWE legends teach these kids a thing or two. And you know what? Here's Head. a closer look at the <laughs> insane action. It's a great evening for WWE. Oh my god, look at those pixels. <laughs> look oh, at those wow. pixels, Take dog. Head, Man, it's so nice good to see the Bella Twins at their best. And now, let's keep this party rolling with another matchup. Oh, oh we got the Undertaker. The Undertaker has risen and Finn Tombstone piled Oh no, not even that Tombstone. God damn it. Mamma mia, what a move! Finish him! Oh no! He just <laughs> hit the snooze button! Yeah, my man with the commentary the skills. With you legends? So this is just an example of the pandemonium that you're going to experience when you head to the battlegrounds. Woo, that's a big toy hammer. Oh, I can't believe my eyes. Seth Rollins <laughs> delivers the stop. What a night. What a night. This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Okay, Great you know what? WWE this game is kind of memes worthy. Today and brawl without limits. Fresh out of the oven, guys. Fresh out of the oven, September 18, www.2kbattlegrounds.com. Oh, sorry, Moro, I know that's your line. We got Edge on the cover. Wow. Hello again, I have even more awards to announce, so let's get right down to it. The winner of Best Action Adventure Game is Watch Dogs Legion. The city needs a resistance. Okay, yeah, it's gonna get good, guys. We're finally gonna have good gameplay. Finally. Ratch uh, so far they have not showed Ratchet and Clank PS5 gameplay, right? They're gonna show that. Uh, Watch Dogs, I'm in, in Watch Dogs. Okay, finally some decent stuff, guys. Best for last, I guess. The winner of the best action game is Star Wars Squadrons. How? How? Last I heard, people were mad about this game. Best multiplayer game is Operation Tango. How? 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 Who? Why? Why? How? What? I used to be an explorer. The winner. Yeah, give this game the be best game of the year, boys. Best, <laughs> best game of the year. Okay, best in the game. Okay, finally. finally. At least. I had witnessed. It was time for the world to learn my name. Best game of the Congratulations year. Congratulations to all the winners. As I mentioned, IGN will be here for all of Gamescom with great shows and new ways for you to get all your gaming news. Check it out. Gamescom 2020 is the heart of gaming, and you can keep to the beat right here on IGN. We've turned the single Halo biggest Infinite. show in gaming into five. Gamescom Now is your virtual show floor with up to the second live coverage. Gamescom Daily Show, Gamescom's first ever late night talk show. Our Gamescom Awesome Indie Show, the freshest deep cuts in indie gaming. And finally, the Gamescom Best of Show, including the Gamescom Award. Gamescom 2020 is available on IGN and wherever you stream Gamescom Now. And now it is time to talk about that best action game winner, Star Wars Squadrons. This is a new immersive space combat game from Motive Studios that delivers the ultimate Star Wars pilot fantasy. We've missed those. In Squadrons, you'll suit up and fly for both the New Republic and the Galactic Empire across intense 5v5 multiplayer battles, as well as an all-new authentic single-player story set after the events of Star Wars Episode VI, Return of the Jedi. Today, we'll get a glimpse at what Squadron's story has to offer by taking a brief look at one of the single-player missions featuring some light narration by the Motive team. Let's check it out. But how, though? We all choose our path. Light or dark. Freedom or destruction. The Empire Yo, thank you for the 149, Jamie. How you doing? What did you say? 
Yeah, I appreciate the, the 149, homie. Of the Rebel Alliance have chosen to keep fighting to show the Empire that we are not. Uh, not, not baiting. This is uh, Gamescom, dude. Their bravery that ended this is Gamescom. Reign and, uh, and it's still, uh, it's not over yet, so we're gonna get more. Uh, we should be getting PS5 gameplay for Ratchet and playing in other games, but it's a long uh, Gamescom stream, so it's like. So far, I mean, like. I apologize on their behalf. Like they said, we're gonna have PS5 gameplay and whatnot. It's not over here. We're gonna get PS5 gameplay. No, man, this is Gamescom. This is Gamescom. But I'm also dissatisfied. Dissatisfied, though. I'll, I agree with you. But no, bit, No, bit. Next gen of gaming. Yeah, man. Hi, I'm Suzanne Hanka, narrative producer on Star Wars Squadrons. Our single-player story is one of daring pilots and deep-seated rivalries. Take Titan Squadron, hunt down this Starhawk, and eliminate it. Gladly, Admiral. Yeah, Sony. I don't know why, man, Fitz. Over the but I appreciate story, you and everybody being two around, though. On opposite sides of the war. And like all modes in Star Wars Squadrons, you'll have. Caddy Zombies reveal is gonna be later on, not today. Hundred percent, not today. Gentiles, Rogue Squadron. I hear you're the reason I was able to finally get a calm through. Today, we're giving you a glimpse of an early Imperial mission behind enemy lines. One of our spies, Agent Thorne, has discovered vital intelligence on Project Starhawk. Your mission is to extract you guys into her Star Wars? from outpost above Hosni and Prime. Behind enemy lines, you'll have to eliminate perimeter defenses. The outpost is defenseless. When you've secured the area, you will escort the Gladius to the outpost. Uh, Fitz, I just explained it, man. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Once Thorn is secure, but I appreciate you and everybody being around. Like, it means a lot, man. Thank you for being around, bro. Dude, the gameplay is so bad, bro. Like, some humble game, right? Yeah, we need that positivity, man. Like, I'm trying to be positive, but it's like, guys, like, I'm I'm being honest with you, right? Okay, this looked better than the other. The New Republic and a Shattered Empire. Debrief with your squad mates between missions. You're our new wingmate. I'm trying to be positive. Okay, let's be positive, guys. Let's be positive. the galaxy's finest. I need you focused and ready to go. From bombing runs at the Nadiri dockyards to setting a trap in the Xavian Abyss. The story of these rival squadrons will push the war to the brink. Love y'all, man. Love y'all, guys. Come. I'm seriously I falling asleep, man. This is so bad. October 2nd. October 2nd. Nice. Okay, next. Let's see another one. <laughs> Launching October 2nd. Next end of gaming. Guys, next, next game gonna be good. On God. That is not all EA has to share from a galaxy far, far away today. At Star Wars Galaxy Edge, you can enter the world of Batu, where you can visit Oga's Cantina or jump into the Millennium Falcon on a run to Smuggler's Cove. It was this incredible adventure at Disneyland Resort and Walt Disney World Resort that inspired <laughs> the Sims. Yeah, thank you for the two skill tested, uh, tested positive for bravery. Dude, I thought you were saying for the Ronnie, but thank God. Thank God. Thank you. Oh, my God. Dude, like this time I fall asleep, bro. Yeah, thank you for the two. Okay, I gotta wake up. I wanna be positive, guys. Like, be positive. We're... The next couple of games are gonna be awesome. They said Watch Dogs, but they never showed Watch Dogs gameplay. Uh, Ratchet and Clank PS5 gameplay should be coming up. And what else? Like, I'm not sure. Metal of Honor, but that's VR. Yeah, gotta be positive, man. But I'm, tr I'm trying to be positive, guys. But, like, there hasn't been anything. Like, I... Like, I apologize for not being positive right now, I'm trying, but like, how? 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 You want me to be positive and like, all what we're getting is this. Y you know what I mean? Like... You got milk here? Wow. Any of you guys getting this game? 2080 Ti and yeah, man. Imagine having 2080 Ti though. We got people in the chat saying my 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 schlong is blasted as F. Dude, good shit, good shit. Very, very nice. We absolutely needed to know that. Wash your hands, guys, or only bad. Yo, William, thank you for the two men. Wash your hands, guys. In the meantime, wash your hands before uh, smashing the like button, man. This looks like Halo Infinite and... Okay, let's not go that route, man. You're gonna offend a lot of people. 
You're gonna find a lot of people. Okay, next game gonna be good, guys. Next game, next game gonna be really good. Like, uh, next game will hit you guys up in the G-spot, okay? You guys gonna fire up dopamine, you guys will be happy. Let's be positive, okay? Positive. There's even Next more game. Star Wars to come later in the show. Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga is up. And as we move into our second hour, we've got Fall Guys Season 2 still to come. The reveal of that, which I can't wait for you guys to see. Yeah, Fall Guys going to be good. of course, a gameplay demo of Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart for PlayStation 5. But right PS5 now, gameplay? you might remember this next game from Annapurna Interactive from last year's Microsoft E3 event. And today, I'm excited to share a new announcement from the team. This interactive thriller about a man stuck in a time loop is one of this year's most intriguing indie titles, and now they've added an absolutely all-star cast to the game. Here's a whole new look at 12 Minutes. Okay, 12 minutes of gameplay, maybe? Yeah, I will learn how to play the, the Titanic song, all right? I, I do not know how to play, uh, play anything on the floor, dude. I just I want you to think of know this, man. Look at its contours, Angelo, its Call of Duty gameplay has not been shown yet. Thank you for the two. They have shown the, the cutscene. Maybe there will be gameplay, but looks like there won't be gameplay. But we're still waiting. Look at it as a whole. Oh my god, who do you repeat these phrases? May you be free from suffering. May you Hold be off, free look. from fear. May you know peace and joy. Mm, making James William Dafoe. 12 minutes. Okay, so the game is called 12 Minutes, an interactive thriller about a man trapped in a time loop coming soon. Next. Dude, I'm gonna fall asleep like That's this. Seriously, really I've never been this sleepy, so bro. To announce that here on the show. Uh, now, last year at the Game Awards, we announced Godfall, a new looter shooter coming to PlayStation 5 and PC from Counterplay. Tonight, we've got a quick sneak peek of one of the new Valor plates with more footage coming as part of Gamescom 2020. Check this out. <laughs> Oscar, thank you for subscribing. Dude, I gotta wake up, bro. Like, this, I'm falling asleep. And, dude, this is... <laughs> this... EA play was better, at least so far. Like EA play was way better than this one. I gotta, like, okay, I gotta, I gotta wake up, man. I gotta wake up. We got Gary Fall here, or not Gary Fall? I mean, God, yeah, G G G it's Godfall, right? Yeah, Godfall. Godfall looking kind of nice though. Okay, finally some gameplay. But we're gonna have Fall guys later. Last was too. Uh, okay, uh, you know what? Let's not go that route. Let's not we go that route. We have much more O and L to come. Exclusive looks at Lego Star Wars: The Skywalker Saga. Bro, Fall so that's guys, it. That's the only gameplay. Season play? two. <laughs> Wait until you see what the Mediatonic guys are up to, and so much more. But first, I'm sure you saw that earlier this week, Heart of Deimos Warframe's How? newest uh, expansion Why? was released on PC, Xbox, and PS4, and today it's also on Switch. All platforms. Here's a look at the heart of Deimos. Okay, so they start showing the gameplay. Expand. I'm not really interested in Godfall, Explore. but it's like the game looked Tear good, kind of. They ended the gameplay Subverting prematurely. To our sovereign but that was what it wanted to. Mobile it gameplays, 10 minutes long. Console gameplays, 30 seconds. Everybody like that. Life, we are infested with it. <laughs> Can I get some claps emojis in the chat? You know this emoji? Can I get that in the chat? The jaws close. Everybody like that. We got the bees, we're flying on the bees. Here comes the sword. We got energy weapons. Have you tried turning it off and on? Be nice, Chad, be nice. But before we fall, we shall Next game is gonna be good, okay? Ne I on oh God, on oh God, next game gonna be good. Who will hear the heart of Dave?
Warframe hearts of them, just play for you. Oh, okay, next guys, next, next, next. Why gaming so is more? People have been discovering or rediscovering video games during lockdown, whether it be older people or bored teenagers or middle aged parents who suddenly find they have to do something. Uh, Adrian, I have it too. Kids. And but the I M16. think I've given out more advice about video games I've seen in 2020 it. than any other time ever. And as a result, it's more important than ever that we keep making different, interesting things for folk to play. A pandemia hmm. pela qual a gente está passando tem sido um período difícil a todos. Então, nesse momento, eu acho que a gente precisa lembrar de mostrar mais empatia. I apologize on their behalf, guys. Mostrar mais amor, mais Next game gonna be good. Next game gonna be good. Next game gonna be good. Let's be positive. Let's be positive, Let's be positive, Let's be positive boys. Let's. I want forced passar. positivity in the chat right now. Okay. Healthy and safely through this corona virus time. Uh, care about other people and wear your masks. Jogos são, na minha opinião pessoal, a forma de arte mais incrível de se expressar. To express Eles yourself, the encompass music, art, art escrita, writing, e você tem and you have a chance to control and experience these experiences mesmo. yourself. É magico, It's magic. É Magnifique. Jogos Video games por amor. are for love. Pretty good. I can be a translator, right? Alright, next game gonna be good, guys. Next game gonna be good. Think positive and positive stuff will happen, okay? Let's be positive, guys. Let's be positive, okay? I In-game engine footage. My hours is... What? Pedro? The music good, though. Oh, shit. RTX 2080 Ti holders about to be happy right now. Yeah, that's a nice beat. I skipped my online class just to see some LEGO games. I apologize on their behalf. They said PS5 gameplays, they said PS5 demos. It's still to come though, it's still to come. I apologize on their behalf. I like, uh, smash that like button if you're disappointed. I wanna know how many people are disappointed. Disappointed people everywhere. Is this Xbox games? Xbox and PS5 and PC too. For the RTX 2080 Ti holders. Yeah, if you're disappointed, smash like. And I might get this uh, haircut on stream. Right, this guys, is me right we're now. Back officially into hour two. We've got an hour more of great stuff to show you. Destiny 2 Beyond Light. Stasis, you're going to see a brand new look at that. Fall Guys Season 2 and Ratchet and Clank for PlayStation 5 and I'll check so Twitter. much more across the next hour. Opening night. Yeah, thank you for the leaked images. Just is I the have all of them too. Of Gamescom 2020. But right now on September 25th, Mafia Definitive Edition launches a comprehensive built from the ground up remake of the original Mafia. Tonight we've got the exclusive debut of the next trailer called A Life of Reward Too Big to Ignore, which deals with Tommy Too Big to Ignore, which deals with Tommy's induction. I don't know the how that low resolution like that. Check this out. All right, Mafia's pretty good though. All right, Mafia's good. Mafia's good. Mafia's good. Last time and voted all these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. Can I get some W's in the chat now? You know what that is, Tommy? Damn you. They're loyal. That's right. Who okay for his hands? A hangar for the production. You're back doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat. And then next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money. <laughs> Go get him, Tommy! Teach these boys a lesson. Break that was a reaction of YouTube reaction uh, reactors. Bodies. You want me to become one of those Wall Street boys? Don't sass me, Tommy. I'm trying to teach you the ropes, so you don't get strangled by them. Mm. Oh, with the motorbikes, I'm sure. You're gonna Tommy be gun? in the high lifetime. 
You abuse my trust, Don Salieri. Oh, look you don't ever need to worry about me. Okay then. Welcome to the family. Yeah, now Mafia's pretty good. Mafia's pretty good. But mind is not blown though. I don't know why. Mind is not blown. Any your your mind blown or no? But W though, that's a okay. Next we're gonna introduce so Call of Duty, you to a Mafia? turn based multiplayer strategy FPS from a team in Montreal, so Canada, Lemnis Gate is coming in early 2021 and has a unique mechanic built around a 25 second time loop. Check this out. Yeah, graphics aren't that good like compared to what I thought. But Montreal, Canada, I'm in Montreal. Let's see what they got, man. Hopefully they got that good good, man. But otherwise, Mafia's pretty good though. Mafia's pretty good. So far we haven't even got jack shit though. And it looks kind of like hyper escape-ish. Steady your opponent! Oh my god! Change the timeline. Any of you guys feeling this game? One if na one, one if yes, two if no. I wanna know like... Like if uh, I'm the only one, you know what I mean? Be honest, Chad, be honest. Inspired by Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. It does have some similarities, yeah. They showed the cutscene for Call of Duty. I don't think there will be gameplay, but we never know. There's one more hour to go, so we might we may get it towards the end. But looks very unlikely. I'll keep it on. Keep it real. A lot of twos. Any anyone said one? Okay, R X V Next says one. Spring, You're being get honest, ready or to experience just for the means? memorable moments and non-stop action from all nine Star Wars films in Lego Star Wars: The Skywalker Saga. The entire series has been reimagined with new, fun-filled Lego humor, and now we've got your first look at the gameplay trailer. Gameplay trailer. Uh, let's check it out. After this, we're gonna have a good game, guys. I, you know, gotta think positive I'm because otherwise, the force may come how, right? Like my father. <laughs> the force wow. is unusually strong with him. That much is clear. Twisted by the dark side, young Skywalker has become. Next one, next one's gonna be good, guys. Next one's gonna be good. Oh my god. Yo, PS5 gameplay are looking so good right now. There is another. Xbox with a call ter teraflops. Yeah, I think Xbox will utilize everything, you know? PS5 and Xbox gonna utilize the Look at that engine gameplay, in engine gameplay. Mmm, that jump was nice though. The slaps. The force will be with you. Wow. Volumetric lights. A long time ago. Snow looking pretty hot. The snatch. My man's running. In a galaxy far, far away. Him, the Falcon. Yo, that's pretty good. The entire saga. Yeah, the graphics are gonna look way better on the Xbox Series X with that 12 teraflops, okay? Because on the PS5, it's gonna be. I, I think PS5 resolution will be like uh, 4K upscale, but Xbox will be native 4K for this game, me. though. So gonna look it. good, though. Jedi. Star Wars, Lego, the Skywalker, Saga. I want to see Rockstar logo. No, man, let the last time we saw Rockstar logo in. Uh -huh. GTA 5 was. <laughs> they, want, they are gonna re release GTA 5. 
Man, Lego Star Wars looks nah, so right. fun coming to next gen as well. All right, we'll be right back. WRL, with more world a lot of W's. Okay, a lot of W's. Huge new games a lot of like fans. Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart, Medal of Honor, Above and Beyond, and Destiny 2. But before that, here's a look at a game that is launching tonight on Nintendo Switch and Steam. It's called Struggling from Frontier, a fun physics based platformer where up to two players control Troy, our fleshy hero. Check this out, and remember, you can play this tonight. All right, you can play this tonight, everybody. You can play this tonight. Fuck it, right? Anyone wanna play this game tonight? Anybody wanna play this game tonight? Let me know in the chat that I know. I think a lot of people wanna play this game. L. This is this is how I wanna be right now, man. This is how I wanna be right now. But it's just the the opposite. You will struggle. Dude, I'm struggling to just stay awake right now, man. This is level of the squid. <laughs> Out here drinking G Fuel. Oh no, Red Bull, okay. Oh, Xbox! 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 Let's get it. 12 Tower Flops gameplay, boys! Coming in hot! The Empires of the. The Empires, wow. Rebuild for a new age. The town looking so good right now, man. Enhance, ooh. 4K Ultra HD graphics, 120 FPS, you bet, you better believe it, you better believe it. Mmm. With the flick of the switch, you can just switch up the whole thing. The Inca. Here are the soldiers running, the Swedes. Two new game modes. Only two? But why? Only two? The Art of War. Cross platform multiplayer. Yo, we got that too. Nice. We got a bunch of uh, bulls. Where are they bulls? Bulls running? Yeah, kutte sale. Yeah, pan. They loaded at the game. Not even a single game right now, man. We got. Oh, look at those. Age of Empires. That look good! That look good! <laughs> that look good. Pre-order now, available October 15th. Game Pass for PC, Windows 10, and Steam. Xbox! Okay, another one. Okay, where's the Sony Pony gameplay though? I wanna see some 10 Teraflops gameplay. Because 12 we're Teraflops we're gameplay pretty good. Oh shit, this will be good! Yo, this is good, okay. More proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little hope. This is from the devs of Until Dawn, right? And now it's got it got a lag, bro, for sure. Little hope. The dark pictures. Please don't lag right now, man. Yeah, you know the games that I'm the, the games that I'm into are surely gonna lag. Yeah, see, this is not lagging. This is not lagging. The games that I'm into, the games I'm interested, they they're just gonna show like 10 seconds of teaser, maybe. You know, like no gameplay, no bad. For sure, 100%. The games that I get, like, the games that hit me in the G-spot, like, they're not even gonna show gameplay. This is rigged for money, man. This is rigged for money. It happens every time. The games that, that look good, they don't show gameplay, man. I gotta say, the game that I've given the most hours to, that I love going back to, is Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Now to say, since Origins came out, this new reboot of Smash Assassin's like if these Creed, are facts. Uh, so the game that you're so interested in, right? Like Call of Duty? And I have that game was good? No gameplay, though. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. At the moment, I enjoy to play Smash Fall like it facts. Guys. Uh, with my friends, it's very funny, easy to learn, but hard to master. I have a few games that I binge play, um, games that I return to every year. Uh, Halo, the entire Master Chief collection, is really a big one for me where that's concerned. 
but I also still just casually binge Animal Crossing and I've been doing that basically all year. I haven't put down Animal Crossing since I downloaded it. I find the daily repetitive rhythm so soothing and predictable. Uh, although much like my house, my island is still a complete tip. Up next, we have the award for best Microsoft Xbox game. And the winner is Tell Me Why. Congratulations to Don't Not Entertainment. Well, after a big day of Gamescom events and announcements, you'll be happy to know that IGN is going to help you digest all that info with Gamescom Daily Show, where you can get all the daily highlights and a late night show experience from gamers for gamers. Back to you, Jeff. Back to you, Jeff. Thank you very much, Sid. Uh, and by the way, congratulations. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's that Sid. For, uh, tell what? Me why a really important game that is oh, out shit. now that you can play uh, Yo. on Xbox. Xbox and Game Pass. And, uh, as we know, there's a lot going on in the world, and that goes Smash a like button for him to be brave, though. Uh, between social conflicts we're seeing in the news and acts of nature, we can see how vulnerable we as people can sometimes be. And now I think it's as important to clap it up for man, ever man. to remember to come together. He tried. And he tried. One another. We are a global gaming community. There are millions of people watching tonight, and I know we're all here because we love games and we know that games are good in the world and can bring us together. And I think we've all felt that in 2020. So I think that's really important to remember amongst all the games and trailers. All right, well, one, uh, one, one way as a community we can come together to do some good is the Gamescom. What? Gamescom has launched a reforestation project by planting a game support one another. We are a global gaming community. There are millions of people watching tonight, and I know we're all here <laughs> because we love games, and we know that games are good in the world and can bring us together, and I think we've all felt that in 2020. So I think that's really important to remember. It happens to the best of the us, games though. And trailers. All right, well, one, ga uh, one, <laughs> one way as a community we can come together to do some good is the Gamescom Forest. Gamescom has launched a reforestation project by planting a Gamescom Forest together with the community. We're going to get to live. Of course. All right, let's keep it. It happens to the best of us. I'm not laughing at the homie. I'm laughing at. I'm laughing with him. Though. I'm laughing with him. Okay. I'm not laughing at. Him. Understand? There's a difference. I'm not laughing at him. I'm laughing with him. All right. With what he said. It happens to the best of us. So, yeah. Just wanted to make it clear. But that was funny. Okay. That was funny. Okay. Now I'm fully awake. I was sleeping. I was falling asleep. There. I was falling asleep. But now it's. Uh, now we got some memes. We got some spies. Watch the journalist be like, okay, let, let's cancel Jeff. Gameplay looking good all of a sudden. The fact that the memes came in, the gameplay be looking kind of good. Become a living weapon. What? He said Sid? <laughs> Literally in one show he said Sid. And one guy. Core. We, this rise of 1 2021 Stadia, Xbox One, PC, PS5, PS4, Series X. By now. How many crowns Content. have you won? If one game has defined the <laughs> summer of 2020, it absolutely is Fall Guys you know. from Mediatonic in London and Devolver. This game is setting records and putting a much needed smile on everyone's face. Facts. Fall Guys, I think, Fall represents our industry at its absolute best. Well, soon the Fall Guys experience will evolve with season two. There's a lot W's, of new W's, stuff yeah. coming, and tonight, Mediatonic is about to give you an exclusive sneak peek at what's next. Get ready. I think the internet is about to freak out. Here it is, Fall Guys season two. All right, yo, this Fall Guys is pretty good, though. So season two, I'm all for it. Okay, bring it in, man. So far, there hasn't hey, been a I'm game Joe, that... Uh... I'm the lead game signer on Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. And I just want to reach out and say thank you to everyone who's been playing and enjoying the game so far. As a team, we've been looking at all the fan arts, the memes, and the montages that people have been posting online, uh, and the response to the game has really blown us away. Today, we just wanted to give everyone their first sneak peek at the rounds and the costumes that they can be enjoying as part of Fall Guys season two. Dude, I never lied. I thought we we're gonna get gameplay. The show is still not over, so we might get it. Like everybody was screaming, not me, because they said like they said preview and they said like we're gonna have PS5 gameplay. So I expected. And competing across brand new rounds inspired by epic quests from the Middle Ages. All guys, ultimate bridges, dodge swinging axes, and scale movable sea ramps in the quest for ultimate game show glory. Yo, Fall Guys, good, man. We're gonna have new maps on shit. Yo, let's go. 
New costumes? Fresh medieval styles. Literally every game is coming up with battle passes. Yeah, man, we need more maps. We need more mods in the game. Or not even mods, just like new maps and shit like that. Just more updates. Fall Guys good. Alright. Is this game on Xbox out yet? Or when is it coming out on Xbox? I don't think it's on Xbox yet, right? Yeah, they need to put this on Xbox. Guys season two. We're still adding the finishing touches to development, but if you want to stay up to date, then at Fall Guys Game on Twitter is where you want to be. So you on the start line. Mm, yep. My father has Colorado in the palm of his hand, and he's afraid to close his fist. Oh shit! Oh no! I am not. It's not coming out on Xbox? Yeah, they need to put it on Xbox. The game's good, though. The game's good. Uh, way better than uh, Fortnite as well. Like, that's the only cartoonish game that I'll be like, I'll get behind because Fall Guys is kind of fun. It's, it, it really is fun. Liberty's got more brains and cunning than both her brothers put together. Yeah, I agree, Hamza. The, the event has been boring. The only good thing was when... He says, uh, when Jeff Keighley said one gay and uh, said and to Sydney Goodman. And Call of Duty cinematic was pretty nice too. Fall Guys pretty nice as well. So Fall Guys, Mafia 1 so far. I'm not yet. Yeah, the, the, the stream has been low dopamine though. Low dopamine stream. But otherwise, yeah, low dopamine. Uh, would you guys say wh what's your rating so far out of ten? I I say that EA Play was way better than this, <laughs> at least of, uh, as a runner. We're gonna have PS5 gameplay though. That's what they said. So oh, we'll see, man. Wasteland 3, the end has just begun. Wasteland 3 launching August 28th. Pass. I really haven't found Next. any new appreciation Six, for zero point five two. because my appreciation for gaming I would say 4 out of 10 so far couldn't be higher. Com certeza jogos multiplayer preenchem completamente a conexão social que eu preciso ter com outras pessoas nesses tempos de isolamento e é o mais próximo que a gente pode ter de experiências Jeff Keighley is good. The pre-show good? Just the games are not good. So far. We got Ellie out here looking like a snack. I kind of prefer it to the real Japan just because I've heard that in real life, they don't let you run around with timers. I appreciate games a lot more than films, music or whatever. And it's just fine uh, for me to to have the time to play with friends or even with my family uh, to have a lot of fun. I've been mostly at home with small children and gaming is the only thing that I get to do for myself anymore. I find it's not only an escape, it's also a way to challenge Yeah, Jay, they had called call War in the beginning. They might have it again, but I don't know. We'll see. You know, play is a natural instinct. I uploaded a video on the channel. Just check it out. The Last of Us Part Two or Ori? Yes. Yes. It's definitely an incredible time now to be a gamer. Yes. I might remove gameplay from the title if you get no gameplay for hey, it. Everyone, I'm Vincent Pella, head of Respawn Entertainment. When we said I change the title now, boys. Above and beyond, we knew we wanted to bring the series back to its roots. Kind of sad. The Medal of Honor franchise is known for its powerful and exciting single-player stories that put the player in the boots of a soldier who was there. It's a series that is grounded in history, which tells emotionally authentic stories. Peter Hirschman, who directed the original Medal of Honor in 1999, is back at the helm of this project. You'll hear more from him in just a bit. Peter and I actually worked together on Medal of Honor Allied Assault in 2002, and I'm really happy he's joined us at Respawn to craft a completely new experience in VR. The team is creating a riveting and emotional journey through World War II like you've never seen or played. It weaves in the personal stories of the veterans and survivors of the war through powerful interviews that help set the stage for what players will experience. It's more than just a game. And we could not be more excited to show the world the next look at Medal of Honor Above and Beyond and the game's action-packed story. Let's take a look. Yeah, I'm down with Metal of Honor, but I think it's VR. I know this is the first time some of you will see combat. Yeah, I'm a huge Metal of Honor fan, but I, I think it's VR can. only. Hopefully not. Let Hopefully I'm wrong about it. All of you. I heard people say it's VR. Is it VR? I'm scared too. 
like Medal, Medal of Honor of 20, 2010, 2011, whenever that game came out, that was that was really good. Welcome I love that France, game a lot. I lead the local resistance cell. Oh my god, Something okay, I, I think it's VR and shit. VR, yes. And mm. we don't know what it is. We're gonna have to improvise here. Yeah, mm. I wish it was like a real like Medal of Honor game, like a real the solid one. The resistance are perhaps the bravest people fighting in this war. Bravest. You really should stop. There is no future in it. Yeah, I might not run, man. Gotta wreck all this function, bro. I'm hyped. How? How? If you're hyped, that's all. That's awesome. That's good, man. You got VR, my guy? Right. Disclaimer, you got VR? We'll and if you guys got VR? If you got VR, then that's awesome, man. Oh, shit. That reminds me of Call of Duty World at War. Mission. Oh, the SVG. Damn. The bar. The grand. Train go boom. The 11s, 1911s. I'm willing to sacrifice myself for. If you got VR, please shut the fuck. Your team gotta be nice, man. You gotta be nice. Gotta be nice, my man. Somehow this motley crew has been tapped W saving civilization. Or L. W and L. God help us all. Hmm. God help us all. Yeah. Oculus Quest from Facebook. Nah, man. Facebook bad. Facebook bad. Go behind the story. Oh my god! Okay, show us one good game, one good game. Yo, I think everybody else, everyone else quit streaming because I think it has been so bad. Peter Hirschman, game director on Medal of Honor above and I, I knew that people were streaming. New VR Nobody's streaming no more. Uh, Peter, I gotta say, the trailer really grabbed me. Such an incredible story that you're telling to... Uh, tell us a bit about this single player experience. What can we expect? Well, Jeff, thank you for having us on the show. The, I'm representing a whole team back at Respawn that's been working really hard on this, and it's uh, so exciting to premiere the trailer uh, with you. Uh, Metal uh, going back to its roots, uh, was always about putting uh, the player in the boots of a soldier fighting in World War II. Um, and with VR, we're able to do that in almost a literal way. Yeah, thank you for uh, subscribing, it's, it's brother. It's definitely the most immersive Welcome experience. On in most immersive combat experience uh, uh, I've ever been able to work on. Um, and the story follows uh, you as a player being recruited into the Office of Strategic Services, um, commonly known as the OSS. Uh, and their mission was sabotage, espionage, search and rescue, everything uh, in between. Uh, you name it, they did it. Um, and they're known by a different set of initials uh, now, the, the CIA. Um, but during World War II, uh, they sent operatives all, all over Europe, uh, deep behind enemy lines, uh, and that allows us to tell a story where you get to go to these places and locations and participate in events that really helped shape the outcome of the war. One of the things I love about the trailer is you can tell there's a lot of interactivity in the environment, emerging game player. You, you got the piano and other things. <laughs> interactivity, in Tell boys. us a bit about um, how you're using that to, to tell the story. It seems like it's all kind of through a first-person perspective, but there are Thanks some stories. Thanks for subscribing to Orange Gaming. The Welcome story. on in, my guy. How are you doing? Oh, well, we shot, we shot over are you getting bucks next? Deserative, um, you know, which is more than some feature 100%, films. 100%. Uh, we had a, a huge I'll, I'll live stream that shit, too, man. I got you, brother. Actors. Uh, it, I'm joking. It's though. fantastic, and the story follows a, a, a classic three three act structure. Um, act one is working with the, the French resistance, getting ready for the invasion. Uh, act two is D Day itself and the fight uh, to get to Berlin, uh, and then the third act is dealing with the Nazi secret weapon program, which you know, involve things like the 262 uh, jet and the V2 rocket. And, stop and fighting in the chat, really guys. Turn the tide of the Ta war if, stop. if we hadn't stopped them. <laughs> Stop um, so it, you guys. Get no to fight. Soldier Boy console is the best console, okay? Um, Austin, appreciate it. Grab and welcome on in. Story is shot Thank you, Austin. All from How are you doing? Perspective. Because it's VR, your head is the camera. We don't have The next scene. game will be good, guys. Edits. Next everything, game will be good. Uh, everything revolves around your perspective. So you experience this story I hope. completely in first person as, as if you are there. Um, so it creates a much more intimate and... and uh, 
uh, emotional connection with the characters and the things going on around you. Uh, it, it was a, an incredible way to, to shoot. Um, one of our animators stood in for the, the player throughout, uh, throughout the three weeks that we were on stage. Um, and all the actors are, are time out, time out, chat. talking to you directly. And in VR, it's such a, a powerful thing. It's uh, no GTA 6. Uh, it's oh, already confirmed GTA 6 won't be here. Just makes because so many people were like... More, uh, authentic. Are we gonna get you GTA 6 Vince, there? I know this, and he this made a video really saying, nah, we're not gonna get GTA 6. I'm like, wow, there's, just, no, there's so much there to experience. It looks really rich and detailed, obviously authentic as well. Um, you know, paying tribute um, to everyone that uh, was involved in, in the war. I, I wanted to ask you also about multiplayer, which is something that Respawn is really known for. And you've had a great single player experience, but I hear you might also be doing MP too? Oh, well, yeah, I mean, the thing about VR is that, uh, you know, I've spent so much, I mean, we've known each other a long time. I, you know, I, you know, you spent so much of your career trying to map natural human movements to a, to a controller and just figuring out things like making them feel good and, and one of the hardest ones is, is leaning. And in VR, you know how you duck? You, you just duck. And, and how you lean in VR, you, you just lean. And so the ability to lean around a corner, just kind of peek around the corner and see where the yeah, bad just guy is, peek around the corner, is man. just, it, it heightens the tension so much. It makes it, it makes it feel all the more real. And when you put that into a multiplayer experience, it, it just raises it to a whole nother level. So we are shipping, in addition to the campaign, we are shipping a, a, a full suite of VR modes. Uh, including a few that you can only do in, in VR. And we're really excited about uh, people playing those, uh, um, you know, uh, after it comes out. Wow. Well, definitely a full-blown VR experience. I got to say, I'm really excited to uh, put the headset on and try this. And it's coming out uh, later this year, right? Coming out holiday. So, uh, yeah, fasten your seatbelts. Uh, we're... we're we are so excited to to bring it to players. We've been working on it a long time. Like like you mentioned, it's a passion project for for Vince and I and everyone at Respawn. Um, it's it's uh, it's a wonderful full circle uh, experience for a lot of us that got our started our careers working on those original set, going back first one and 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 uh, Allied Assault, and now to be able to bring Above and Beyond uh, to a whole new generation is uh, is one of the most exciting things we've been involved with. Awesome. Thank you so much, Peter. Opening night live. We'll be right back. And in the meantime, here's a look at a new game that is launching tonight. Ah, tonight. Okay, let's check it out. The world was broken. world was broken. So sad, Chad. So sad. Can we get two likes? Two likes. Very sad. Spellstorm still rage. Oh, shit. The ruins of the hollow lands. Got thunder and lighting. This is proof, they said. It is insane. It can't be controlled. Magic can't be controlled. Cannot be used. Is that Thanos' hand? Look at those Thanos' hand. Gotta get the gauntlet, man. It's so sad, bro. Yo, I don't know if they're going to walk on in my game. But I am. Is about it Apex? Kind of feels like Apex. No, it's not Apex, right? Not Apex, not Apex. It's this a new game coming out tonight, yeah. Kind of feel like Apex. And now I fight to oh, break shit. Free. Music's kind of good. Yeah, I like the colors, though. I like the colors. But... Yeah, like imagine you having Xbox with 12 teraflops, PS5 with 10.2 teraflops, PC with RTX 2080 Ti, okay, never forget, RTX 2080 Ti, and we get games like the- oh shit, look at that breath, you seen that breath? You guys saw that breath? We got the summoning key from Call of Duty Zombies. Oh, th okay, this is gameplay. Oh damn, this looks good! Okay, I, I take it back guys, I take it back. The gameplay looks better. I was not expecting, you know? I was not ex Okay, I take- I take it back guys, I take it back. This one for me and myself. I do that for me, okay? Pretty decent, pretty decent. Not bad, not bad. Spell break. Not bad, not bad. Launching September 3rd. Uh, this said 
Tonight? No? This said tonight, no? September 3rd? Okay. Not far away though. Play for free. Oh, it's free on top. Okay, that's good. PS4 and Xbox. Sony Pony and Xbox. Okay. Oh, man, too many cartoon games. I feel like uh, watching cartoon. <laughs> yeah, right, David? Oh, shit. Flight Simulator? Yeah, Flight Simulator. Good, though. Okay, they're doing a trailer for everything that they've shown. Next! Let's get it next. We need that. So far, I did not get a kick of dopamine. I did not. Over 100 games on PC. And all of them are like this. Oh, flat, flat sim good. Flat sim good. Okay, that good. Flat sim good. Got a big ass spider there. Got a pair. We got pyramids and shit. We got people mad in the chat and shit. We got people spamming L's and shit. We got people. Nobody saying W's and shit. We got flat simulator. Halo Infinite there, exclusive PS Discord, three months free. Thank, uh, thanks for coming on my Cartoon Network uh, live stream reaction uh, video, guys. Y'all are the best, okay? Y'all are. This is amazing, man. And soon. Play over 100 Xbox games on mobile. Wow. Okay, no, that's a pog. That's a pog. Okay, that's a pog. I'm not a mobile gamer, but that's a pog. Okay, that's a pog. On PC, play on day one. Perks. Xbox Live Gold included. It's time to discover your next favorite game. Is Bug Snacks the best deal in gaming? Yeah, Xbox. Xbox with teraflops and Game Pass. Sony Pony with like SSDs and exclusive games. So many great games in Xbox Game Pass, and many of tonight's games are in it as well. Uh, every year at Gamescom, we like to highlight some incredible games made in Germany. And tonight, we have a special announcement about one of the most legendary Stop German fighting, guys. games of all time, Stop created by up. Factor 5. Enjoy. You'll be getting an x Do you mean Xbox? Uh, I'm getting the Sony Pony, and then if I have money, change line around, then I'll get the uh, Xbox. Oh, konnichiwa. Guys, be nice. I wanna, I wanna see Konnichiwa's, Nihas on the chat. Be nice. I wanna, I want you guys to be nice right now. Richard, Literary, Digital Foundry. Hola, eh, kutia, panda, nani de o kute sale pande, gandu. I'm happy we're finally seeing a Dorican collection. And hope to show it off to everyone just as I did back in the day. Uh, by the way, I'm just joking around, okay? Like, for the two people who will be offended, don't be offended. Just jokes, okay? Jokes, just jokes and shit. Like, the stream has been so bad, man. This was the first game Why are we getting 8-bit games? My musical vision. I'll take it cartoonish games over this one, man. I'll take cartoonish games over this one. Chat! Cartoon games or 8-bits? Is it Ed bit? Is that is that the term to describe it? Read Robert W subscribing. Thank you, man. I apologize on their behalf, guys. Hurricane. Wow. Becker. Hurricane 30th. I'll take cartoon over uh, cartoon games over this one, hundred percent. In June, Bungie revealed oh. a new era of Destiny 2 that starts oh. on November 10th with Beyond Light. For the first time ever, Guardians will add a new elemental power to their arsenal, the Dark Power of Stasis. With Stasis, players will take on the powers of darkness to control and dominate the Thank you for subscribing, brother. Welcome Here's on Here's an all-new look at Stasis from Destiny 2. Alfonso, appreciate it. Welcome on in, homie. I hope you're doing good. World premiere. They're bullying me. Guys, yeah, stop the bullying. Let a uh, soldier boy console is the best, the okay? We need only look inward. Focus your power. Focus. Our fight is far from over. Destiny good though, Destiny good. How many of you guys play Destiny? 
I don't play it though, but Destiny good. Ever since they left Activision, I heard they're trying to be, they're trying to give a lot of content out. Nintendo is better than not as uh, Soldier Boy is be uh, the best console. Nintendo is better than Xbox. Soldier Boy is the best console. Okay, let's not fight over that. Soldier Boy come. is the best console. This is their fate. One after another. Get yourself some Soldier Boy right now, man. Dude, that, that Until Dawn, that li Little Hope, I believe, the game that's made by Until Dawn, I was really interested in that, because that's a horror game and I'm really interested in that. They just dropped like a 30 second video, no gameplay. The games that are just, god damn it. There has been so many cartoonish games with like 10 minutes of gameplay, but the games that are good, they show nothing, man. They show no gameplay for the games that we're interested in. and that is best Sony PlayStation game. So, without Bucks further nice. ado, the winner is Cyberpunk 2077. Yo, that's a pog. Congratulations. That's a pog. Of Let me get some kids. there are even more awards than the ones I announced tonight. So check out the Gamescom Awards user voting, where you can vote for your favorite streamer, Gamescom's most wanted, and best of Gamescom. The winners will be revealed at Gamescom Best of Show, along with cool cosplayers, esports, and more. So tune in on Sunday, August 30th at 8 p.m. Central European time to see the grand finale of this year's Gamescom where we give gamers the stage. That's it for me tonight, but before I turn it back to Jeff, I just want to say that I hope everyone out there is staying safe and healthy. We're all in this together, so take care. Back to you, Jeff. Back to you, Jeff. Thank you very much, uh, Sydney. It's great to have you on the show again. He said Sid this before. Year. Now he's like Sydney. Uh, all right. Okay, well, I'll see you, man. I'll see you, Hustle. What will the next generation of gaming feel like? How will it be different? What is that generational difference? Well, back in Finally, June, PS5 we saw the play. announcement of Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart from Insomniac Games, a title which uses the power of PlayStation 5, the SSD hard drive, and the DualSense controller to create an experience that Insomniac says is only possible on brand Man, new hardware. Really? You're thankful well, for the now five. It's time for you to Lark decide head. if you see the difference. Here's an extended, uninterrupted demo of live PlayStation 5 gameplay of Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Enjoy. All right. All right, guys, before we watch this, I gotta say, Soulja Boy console is the best console. Like I always say, let's not fight over that, because I know that the Xbox will chest up, Sony ponies will get mad, then Sony ponies will chest up, then Xbox will get mad. Uh, let's not, okay, let's not. Let's not. Soulja Boy console is the best. Ratchet and Clank. I played this when I was, like, little, like a little ass kid. We're back. Hmm. And not far from where we last saw him. We may still have time to put a stop to this. I uh, wonder if you, I uh, wonder if you're into Ratchet and Clank too, if you're not. Oh dear. W or L? For sure, this game is not for the graphics, and the graphics are just, you know what I mean. But the SSD is gonna be the thing a lot of ones a lot of twos it got a lot of particles and the effects on the ps5 version that's what i heard from the experts i'm not an expert okay so that's what i heard from the experts burst pistol Thank you for the five, my guy, Lara Kid. Google Stadia, best console. <laughs> nah, Soulja Boy. I, I stick with Soulja. I'll stick with Soulja. But thank you for the two, man. What's up? Mine not blown, but... Mine is not blown. But essentially, I, I think what they're trying to show us is that there are no, there is no loading whatsoever in the next-gen gaming. 
Dimensionator, Nefarious. Put down the Dimensionator. Yeah, right. Today, I will finally be free of the both of you. Soon, everything uh, Ibrahim, you watch on a monitor. Be uh, if you're watching on mobile. Uh, but this game is not about Stay graphics, good. because of course it's cartoonish game, right? Graphics are, of course, for what it is, it's good. And I like Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, when you teleport from portals, there's no loading screen. Getting Nefarious's device seems to have destabilized reality. The bridge is shot. There has to be another way across. Hmm. The rifts appeared to react to your device. Try pointing it at one of them. I'll want to use the rift. Yeah, now they're gonna show us the next end of gaming. <laughs> that was rather exciting. Okay, so that was a tra uh, pad portal. Yeah, this is what they really want to show us. No loading screens whatsoever. Yeah, I'm probably gonna cop this game. You guys copping? If you're a Sony pony, you guys copping? Yeah, yeah or nay, yeah or nay. Most humble streamer, never change your ways. Thank for the two men. Sergeant Puck Gaming. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you, my man. Definitely copying this. The reason I'm copying this is because, like, I played this as a kid. Otherwise, like, okay, if I, if I never played this game as a kid, I would probably not buy this game. Uh, just being honest, you know, just being honest with you guys. Or at least a very large octopus. I know that some. Uh, yeah, here, this is what they're, they want to show us. Literally, no loading screens and the particles load in fast. Hey, at least we're on the same planet this time. Nefarious is on the other side of that building. Let's get moving before he does anything else to break reality. And bam! The body, the enforcer. Thank you for subscribing, the dark one. How you doing? Welcome on in. Single player games like this will be 120 FPS. I I, I suspect as well. 4K 120 FPS with ray tracing. You know. There's a guy. <laughs> There's a guy threatening to release Call of Duty 2020 gameplay. How? Threatening. Oh, okay, this guy. Oh, hold on a second. Guys, there's a suspect on the loose out here. Activision Osaka, yell al gameplay, hola publico, yo primo as viso. Activision, you release the gameplay or I publish it, first notice. Yeah, he's joking around. It's Alpha Sniper. If he does that, Activision is the garn to bling man. Activision will hit him up in the garn, bro. Like, Activision will not let the guy live, they will sue his ass, bro. He's just joking around. Game look good! Game look good! That's all of them. We have to get the Dimensionator away from Nefarious. HUD is clean as well. Oh, goddamn. Frick jump. Yeah, this might feel like nothing, but honestly, I've been playing Spider-Man 2018 on the PS4 Pro, and every single mission, every single cutscene, there is like, like a 10-20 second loading screen, right? So that's this is huge, though. For sure, even Xbox gonna have that, I, I think. Uh, but that's like what they're trying to show in this one. Yeah, let's not fight over consoles, guys. Soldier Boy consoles the best. Soldier Boy, Atari, Google Stadia, best. 
like it, this will hit different when you're high. <laughs> Zero loading, boys. Ratchet. We are too late. Ratchet? Who? <laughs> Ratchet and Clang ripped apart. Tots? Tots chat? Tots? I mean, I'm copying this game because I played this. I played it as a kid. Uh, no loading screen. That's a W. For sure, this game is a cartoonish game, so graphics are you know you there really you cannot it. talk Ratchet about graphics. Clank, Rift apart, and now I am joined by Marcus Smith. Otherwise, and a lot of particles. Insomniac games, uh, guys. It was so great to see that uh, long uninterrupted demo of uh, Rift Apart, and I have so many questions. Uh, it's amazing to see what you're doing with the power of PS5 and the SSD. Um, let me ask you first. Marcus, what are you able to do Wasn't with the same Rift demo? Apart that you haven't been able to do before in a Ratchet for game real? because of the power of PS5? I mean, first and foremost, that's old footage for real. Force power enables. Did they really show us old gameplay? With the kind of density and life that we've never been able to do before. Um, more importantly, perhaps though, is the dimensional shifting that we have going on, which uses the SSD uh, that allows us to fling the player from planet to planet to planet. Uh, Same gameplay. Oh, like damn. It, it, way, way faster than anything we've uh, ever been able to do. Bruh. Yeah, the, they told the us new Tether gameplay, man. We saw that in the uh, demo. We had seen some of that in the, the trailer. So that's that's all actual gameplay. Mike, I'm curious, like, how does that, they play how does us, that bro. work as you kind of play through the game? Are there certain moments and levels where you can jump, or how, how do you play through that? Yeah, so in the game, there is dimensional damage. It's old but uncut. The galaxy that Ratchet All right, and got you. To find a way to fix. Yeah, they and did you say can uncut. Find these weak points in space time that you can pull to, to you with your rift tether. It's like being able to lasso a portal. And that enables you to basically like warp across the world to find new places to discover or gain a tactical advantage in combat. Wow, yeah, I got to say, like, when you see that and you imagine the, the jumping from multiple worlds uh, at, 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 you know, at instantaneously almost, and it sounds like there's no load screens throughout the entire game. That's right. We're going seamless. That's right. Yep. Wow, all right. You bite so confident, both of you say it. I like it. Um, now, <laughs> let me ask you about DualSense. That's something that is a big part of PS5. Uh, I've had a chance to hands with the controller with the adaptive triggers and the haptics. Um, how are you using that for, to sort of impact the gameplay of Rift Apart? So at the heart of every Ratchet and Clank game is a powerful arsenal of weapons that just exude a ton of personality. And the dual sense is sort of like, it feels like it was made for Ratchet and Clank just because the haptics give us a whole new layer for the weapons to express themselves. So for example, your burst pistol, of course it gives you like a satisfying click or kick with every bullet. But when you throw the shatter bomb, you can actually feel the energy pulsing off the grenade fade away as it gets further apart from you. Basically, the haptics are expressive enough that every weapon feels different and you can tell what you're holding. But of course, the adaptive trigger like takes that to a functional level where in addition to the trigger pull feeling unique, we can actually use that as a super intuitive way to add alternate functions to the weapons. So, for example, in the demo, we've got the Enforcer, which is a double-barreled shotgun. You can pull the trigger part of the way down until you hit resistance to fire a single barrel, and then whenever you feel like it's the right time, pull it the rest of the way for a double shot. So you Dual sense, but I feel like a bunch of little enemies. You only want to waste one shot on them, and then wait a minute for even more to swarm in before finishing them off. But a big guy, you probably want to just give both barrels to your right away. Feel six, what? So there's a nice intuitive way. The vibration is going to be next level, my guy. And giving you more ways to play better. Wow. No, uh, I'm excited to see how you guys are going to roll that out across what I'm sure are an insane uh, you know, group of weapons, as always. Uh, plot wise, Marcus, tell us a bit about this game. I think some fans have wondered, you know, does this tie into the movie plot line, the game plot line? Like how it would tell us in the ratchet verse where this sits. Yeah. Well, canonically, this is a, an extension of uh, Ratchet & Clank um, Into the Nexus, the 2013 game. But it's a standalone adventure. So it, it's one that, it, even if you've never played a Ratchet & Clank game, you can get into it and you'll understand it and you'll enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, the event um, was garnered for For hardcore for fans, we have a lot of nods. You're going you're gonna to see a lot of returning characters and planets and uh, see them all through a whole new light of uh, multi multiple dimensionality.
Yeah, no, this this rift tether thing, I think, looks really exciting. And how often, like, is that something we saw in the demo? Is that something you're going to see, like, frequently in the game? Are there special moments? Like, I guess I'm curious, like, how often you use that technique for gameplay. So the, the rift tether has created these anomalies all throughout the galaxy. You'll encounter those pretty often. There's even a few more types of dimensional damage you'll encounter that we haven't shown yet. Okay. Now, being pulled between worlds, that's, that's localized to chasing after Dr. Nefarious in the demo. Um, and that's sort of reserved for special moments when you really have to... Um, when, when okay, so guys, really listen, okay, open. let... Uh, I gotta Let's say, stop. it looks incredible. And then First, the you guys end, were fighting over PS5 and Xbox. Now, you guys are fighting of, over uh, Battlefield and Call of Duty. Lombax, like, uh, both are good, man. I, I know you guys have confirmed she is playable in parts of the game. Uh, I think everyone's playable. Know, She's playable part in part of the game. Confirmed. Let's uh, talk about I mean, that. The world is more interesting with mysteries, and we're going to have to keep this one uh, a little longer. <laughs> Do, do we get a number of letters in her name or anything? Yo, I gotta spray. I gotta <laughs> spray some. people on the internet. They'll, get, they'll figure it out. I gotta right spray away. some bleach in the chat, right? man. We gotta wash up, man. We gotta... <laughs> chat. Time out, time out, chat. Time out. You guys are high testosterone males, all right? I mean, it looks high testosterone males. Do not fight so over that stuff. As you said, when you think of the power of SSD and the... Smash the like button if you're a high testosterone male. Before right. we go, though, if you're not, uh, everyone dislike the this world wants to know when we're gonna get. Understand, it will stay in your subconscious. Game. Okay, Anything so like if you're a, a high testosterone right male. Mike. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> <laughs> so Ratchet and Clank is coming out in the PS5 launch window. So we haven't announced a release, a specific release date yet. So stay tuned for that. What kind of window? Is it big window? So, no, I'm just kidding. All right, that's all we're going to get, I'm sure. Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart, coming in the launch window for PlayStation 5. I got to say, uh, Insomniac, <laughs> Doesn't uh, like we're so excited about what you guys are doing across PlayStation, and uh, the game looks incredible. So thank you so much for all you've done, and we look forward to seeing more of uh, Rift Apart soon. Thanks, Jeff. Take care. All right, Marcus and Mike yeah. from Insomniac, thanks, thanks for showing us that first look at Ratchet and Clank or PlayStation 5. And that's going to do it for Opening Night Live. Thank you so much for watching from around the world, and make sure to stay tuned all weekend for more live Gamescom coverage at Gamescom.global. As for us, we'll see you later this year. For the Game Awards 2020, our team is hard at work to build a very special live show for you. 35 games shown just like that? We'll what? There. Good night. What? What? Oh, hey, 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 Time up. There was nothing. There was nothing. Okay, I gotta bring up that Call of Duty. That was the only thing. Yo, this was so bad. On oh, God, I fell asleep, man. I fell asleep. This was Call of Duty. Oh my God. Okay, let's go over on Call of Duty. Did they release that for three minutes? Yeah, they have. Honestly, that Call of Duty Fall Guys. Mafia 1, Ratchet and Clank, decent but not hidden the G-spot. I wanna see what the scientists think. Okay, the experts. I think the experts liked it. The experts really liked this thing. The experts liked it. Maybe... You guys liked it? You guys disliked it? I think EA Play was better. I know some of you guys will be like, Hey, excuse me, how? How? Three. Uh, I don't know, man. Like, I think with EA Play, my expectations were so low. This time, I had somewhat... I had some expectations. I think that's why. I think... You guys feel me on that one? Because with EA Play, when we started watching, we were like, yeah, we're not gonna get anything. We're gonna get, like, memes. It's gonna be this. It's gonna be that. But towards the end, they talked about, like, Skid 4. They, like, showed us, like, a little teaser video for Battlefield 6. I know that not every one of you are into Battlefield 6, but still, dog, like, that's a massive game, right? I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, yeah th but this time I was expecting campaign gameplay and not gonna lie. But we ended up getting this, which is pretty nice. Let's check it out. Just attempted to steal an American-made nuclear bomb yeah, from a U.S. firebase. If you're new, if you're a new subscriber, I'll keep you all, keep you all in the loops, and I apologize for uh, on their behalf. Uh, I know Alpha Sniper. He, uh, but he's joking around, dude. Uh, I've seen his tweet. I've seen his tweet. He's joking around. He's not gonna do it. His uh, his ass will be will be sued if he does that. Yo, thank you for subscribing. Like of us. Uh, okay, I'm gonna play that. I'm gonna play this. Five days ago, while on a mission, we acquired intel that Perseus is in play again and planning an attack on the West. Perseus. You're right. 
you're, you're right. Where is that mystery PS5 game? He said there will be a mystery PS5 game, but I don't think there was. Was there? CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. Mr. Hudson, we're all aware of Perseus. We're also aware he's more myth than fact. I mean, personally, I think he's nothing more Thank than a Russian boogeyman. Russian boogeyman. General Haig, allow me to introduce the man who is suited to respond to that. CIA clandestine special officer, Russell Adler. He's one of the few people who even come close to capturing Perseus. Uh, Mr. Adler, why should we take this Perseus threat seriously? You don't have to, sir. <laughs> yeah, but then a lot of innocent people are gonna die. Why do you say that? Sir, every time Perseus has come into play, it's shifted the balance of the Cold War. You haven't played God of War? Dude, After I 13 love God years of War. I played if he's all of active, them. Something big is gonna happen. Something that will affect the free world. Comes Ronald Reagan. Yeah, I gotta, gotta stand up. Gotta, gotta stand up. It's the Mr. President, man. It's the Mr. President. Gotta Mr. stand President, up, sir. Mr. President. Mr. President, this is Jason Hudson up. and Russell Adams. I know their names. Who do you think approved their last mission? Uh, is the threat real? Yes, sir. We believe it is. Can you stop Perseus? We can, sir. I've already submitted the requisition for my team. Sir. Their requests are highly irregular, most likely illegal. If the press gets a hold... What the hell are you talking about? Do you know who we are? Every mission we go on is illegal. Sergeant Woods, plausible deniability is the backbone of our work. Al, we're talking about preventing an attack on the free men and women of the world. Give Mr. Adler whatever he wants. Gentlemen, you've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. There is no higher duty. There is no higher honor. And while few people will know of your struggles, rest assured, the entire free world will benefit. I know you won't fail us. Yeah, I wish there was gameplay along with this. Yeah, normally they show campaign gameplay, but for Modern Warfare, they never... Get early access to the open beta and instant access to the woods operator package. Yeah, for Modern Warfare, they never showed it. Even for this one, they did not. They should, they should, they should. But let's see what the experts said it, thinking about the, this one. Okay, let me actually check this, sir. The interview, what did the man say in the interview? Now, this year, Gamescom is, of course, a little different than normal, and I hope all of you and your families are safe. Dan, how you doing? Yeah, the... the, the the set was pretty good, like the fact that they got like a Call of Duty Black Ops here and the ga different game stuff, that was pretty nice. The Jeff's pretty cool though, he's like good a great Jeff. host, Thanks but for me here. games this were is, bad. Uh, been a dream project for us to work on from, the, from nearly the beginning of development. We knew Black Ops Cold War was going to be a direct sequel to Black Ops 1, and we loved the idea of returning to the pillars built the Black Ops franchise. Deniable operations, conspiracy grounded in history and that shadowy world of paranoia. And we get to mix all those together, drop the player into the 1980s at the height of the Cold War. And it's really something that we know would feel relevant to today and also uniquely Black Ops. Mm. Well, you start playing with Black Ops, everyone wants to know characters. We saw yesterday in the reveal trailers, you know, some familiar faces. So, you know, Woods, Mason, like break it down. Um, how does this fit into the Black Ops cans? You said it's a direct sequel. So are we gonna see a lot of familiar faces? Yeah, part of the fun in making this game was bringing back the iconic characters like Woods and Hudson and I love Mason, you too, Gold. And seeing how all those personalities mix with some of the new characters. So the campaign takes place in 1981, and we love that we've been able to have so many connections to the original Black Ops and really be that direct sequel to the game. Uh, now, one thing that I'm really excited about this is your pushing the storytelling in kind of a new direction with some branches and some options about how you play through the campaign. Can you maybe walk us through your thinking there? 
Yeah, one of the driving forces from early in development was to say, let's take this Black Ops thrill ride and infuse it with some player choice and some player freedom. Anything we can do to give the player a little more ownership over their experience. So that starts with allowing the player to create their own character for the Cold War campaign. They can name them and pick a military background and really pretend they are that Black Ops soldier that they want to be. From there, we wanted to take some of our missions and infuse optional objectives, multiple paths, and some player choice moments inside some of those missions. And it was fun to find that balance between the hard driving Call of Duty action and these more non-linear experiences in some, inside some of the missions. So with choice comes the player wanting to feel that impact. So some of those choices earlier in the game and some towards the end will actually shape the ending of the narrative of the campaign. All right, so multiple endings to this game. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That's That was one of the big things for us. It's like we love that Black Ops has always been willing to take risks, and we all know they did some of this in Black Ops 2. And with our story and with these features, we love playing homage to those early Black Ops games. Oh, yeah, I remember the numbers. All right, uh, well, Dan, uh, we are excited right, to see more of controller the controller here, boys. reveal is coming in September. But, Spotted uh, by the homie, you Brian. Switch there, Brian. Maybe you could flip the switch on something exclusive for us. Right? What, what are you going to show us? Yo, how how you guys spawn yeah, this quick? Absolutely, this is really exciting because this will be the first time we've done this outside the walls of the development studio. This is a scene from earlier in the game, and it's a critical point that really shows the narrative of the world, shows this threat that our heroes are going to be battling. So let's take. Yeah, a look. this was lagging. Yeah, this one we've already seen it. So I guess feel it like which was better, EA Play or this? Uh, I mean, no, this was better three. to be honest. Like, on paper, this was better than EA Play, but the reason I feel like I'm saying EA Play was better was because, like, I just had low expectations for EA Play, and I, I had, like, somewhat high expectations for this Gamescom, and wasn't hitting the G-spot, right? Like, I thought we are gonna get, like, gameplay for Call of Duty 2020, we ended up getting, like, a, like a cinematic, which is, yeah, nice, uh, yeah, but, like, uh, gotta get the gameplay, too, you know what I mean? Like, we waited, like, what, five, seven, eight million months for this one? God of War came out in 2018, and there are leaks that it's gonna be revealed in the next PS5 reveal stream. Like, today it's not the PS5 reveal, but it was, like, new gameplay reveals, right? Like, PS5 and Xbox games. That's what it was marketed as, like, new games, you know, next gen of gaming. Wow, people are gonna be hit in the G-spot, and at the end, like, people just, like, <laughs> everybody complained, myself included, though, so. Yeah! CIA yeah, play suck. I mean, everything sucked, dude. Everything sucked. The only good one was, uh, I'm gonna be honest, man, like, that, that last PS5 reveal stream was decent, man. But the 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 only thing was that they, sh they started off with the Rockstar Games logo, and everybody thought we are gonna get GTA 6. Uh, Twitter, uh, your y'all comments are getting blacklisted. Twitter, check Twitter, I tagged you. Uh, I've seen that gaming, bro. I've seen that, like, I'm, I'm, I've seen those leaks. I've seen those leaked pictures. I've seen all of them. I've seen all of them. If you have been disappointed, smash the like, man. I want to see how many people are disappointed right now. Let me check that Twitter again. But I've seen that. That's like the M16 leak image, right? But you cannot really make out a lot of that. You cannot make out. There's... Okay, Call of Duty tweeted. Hold on a second. Oh, gameplay? No, 15 seconds. Okay, Call of Duty tweeted this, boys. Uh, this was one hour ago. Yeah. Is this new? I think this is old. Oh no, this is, yeah, pre-order bonus. Frank, what's old? What's happening with Cheetah? Uh, what, what's that? They said PS5 secret exclusive. Were, yeah, they, they said it, but did not show. Okay, what was? Okay, let me see, but... Uh, yeah, Call of Duty, that's it? They showed that? It was so bad, bro. Yeah, this game was decent. That Minecraft looking game. That WWE was just straight up memes. Literally nothing, dude. You no play? You no play? Your flight sim was nice. She was looking like a snack. This was- okay, so this was the only gameplay. To be honest, Fall Guys Season 2 was nice, but if you think about it, this is the only gameplay we saw, man. That's wild. That's wild. 
Yeah, no gameplay for COD 2020, and I did expect that. They showed the cutscene. I changed up the title because, like, of course, uh, everybody thought that we're gonna get a see the look at what I tweeted you. That uh, your name is Marcus on Twitter? Is that you? Is that you, my guy? Is that you? Remember this kid? This is him now. Pog, feel old yet? Is that is this you? Let me know, my guy. But yeah, otherwise, no gameplay. Can you DM me the leaks? Uh, it's just, I, I can't, dude. I, I don't want to associate myself with them, man. I covered the leaks, but I don't want to get sued or anything, man. But it's just the M16 image. Uh, I'll, I'll actually let you know where is, where you can find. But I'm not sure what's your Twitter at. Let me know your Twitter at, I'll add you. I can add to you and delete that. Because some of the Activision guy fo guys follow me, so I'll get my, my, my Twitter. <laughs> I, I don't want to do that, you know? Like, I cover, I cover the news. But I don't leak the game, you know? Because, uh, yeah, I'll get sued. And shit. I won't get sued, but they will just, uh, send my Twitter to Twitter Heaven. Okay, Modern Warzone? Okay, somebody, uh, people added me. Hold on a second. I'm gonna I'm let you know the Twitter ad. So go on. I'm gonna drop this ad in my chat. Go over on this Twitter account and you'll find it. I, I wish I could show you, but you guys on no, like I cannot show you. So go on this ad I dropped in the chat. If you want to see the league. I'm, I'm not sure if they still have it up. They 17 minutes ago, they had it up. Imagine they deleted. Let me check. No, it's still up. All right, it's still up. They replied to a Charlie until tweet. You cannot really make a whole lot out of it. It's just like a blurry gameplay image, right? Not that blurry, but you know what I mean. The HUD is looking pretty nice. I hope this is the HUD because the HUD is so clean, man. But imagine this is like a gameplay screenshot. If you're like looking at it while watching, you know what I mean? Like, it feels like it's a, it's from campaign because multiplayer will have a lot more with the minimap and shit. It's M16, so really, uh, it's not a lot. It's not a lot. It's just one image, right? It's not a lot. M16 in Vietnam. Did I miss Black Ops or is it coming? Uh, there was like a cutscene they dropped. You, I, I can play that again for you. Or you can watch it. Like I, I uploaded that as a video on the channel with their interviews and shit. So my last video, check that out. Check out my last video. Yes, that's me. Would you know if the new gen will cross play with the current gen now for Black Ops? Uh, yeah, it will be crossed in. It will be crossed in, my guy. Uh, when they gonna show the $200 Call of Duty bundle? Uh, that's what I'm waiting for too, man. Like I'm waiting to pre-order because I feel like that. Because I don't want to pre-order digitally till they show the but the problem is that like they say if you pre-order if you get a physical edition you cannot play the beta so you gotta like pre-order the digital version in order to play the beta so i'm waiting too but i uh, personally i have a feeling that they're not there's not gonna be a collector edition but if there is they should announce it soon i hope they announce it before the beta comes out because like uh, i don't want to be like pre-ordering the game digitally right well zone bocw yes that's it I screenshot it, it looks nice though. It looks nice, but you cannot really make a whole lot. Like, it's uh, it's just one screenshot. Like, we need gameplay, man. We demand gameplay, man. Where's the hood? I think it's a campaign screenshot. Definitely not not multiplayer, because if it was multiplayer, it would have the, the minimap. So PS4 players can play with the PS5. Uh, for Call of Duty, yeah, this at cross-gen. This at cross-gen. Where's the link? Uh, Warzone BOCW, that's the ad. It's on Twitter. I cannot link it. Uh, just Twitter. Go on this Twitter and you'll see it. A new Call of Duty should be a Black Ops 2, but revamp just like Warzone. Should be like... Uh, I hope fun-wise, play, playing gameplay-wise, I hope it's like Black Ops 2 as well. Uh, but I want it to feel new as well. I want it to feel like new, but fun like Black Ops 2. That, and new content. New content as well, but Trapcon, how you doing? How you guys doing? You guys like the stream? I personally like, you know, there was a snore fest, man. Has Call of Duty gameplay been shown yet? Nope, no gameplay. Call of Duty. I thought it was a reboot, thank god. Yeah, the, that's the only leak that, that was fake, in my opinion. Because all the other leaks came true, like Sergeant Frankwood's pre-order bonus came true. Yeah, uh, Vietnam flashbacks. Yeah, we had, yo, we had leaks. Okay, so that's the thing, right? The same source who said that months ago who said that it's gonna be a reboot also said that we're gonna have Vietnam flashback missions in the game. 
So Vietnam flashback leak was true, but the reboot leak was not. So I think that the leaker just uh, the leaker. I think the leaker thought it was a reboot, but they were trying to like let us know the real thing. Skill, can you tell me the accounts that leak? Call uh, yeah, gaming bro. Uh, this account on Twitter. I'll put it in chat. This account on Twitter. If anyone know how to download Valzone, I just go over on PlayStation Store and search it. You will have it, my man. Bring back grief mode. I hope they do, Hassan. They're gonna reveal it probably by the end of September, early October. So yeah, I hope. Uh, Tech gamer only one leaked image. Oh, there's only one leaked image, and there were like manual leak image. I saved it on my desktop, dude. As soon as I saw it, I saved it. Uh, but I'm not sure if it's legit or not. People say it's legit, so it looks legit. But I saved it instantly. There was a 12 second gameplay leak. There was like 30 minutes gameplay leak, which I have not seen. I think that's like that's not true. But some people are claiming they have seen 30 minutes gameplay. That I have not. Like if there is, you hit me up with that 30 minutes gameplay, man. I wanna, I wanna see you too, man. So like, you are brave. You deserve the likes. Uh, your wife and the kids need to be free now. Yeah, th thank you, my man. Like, I send them, I send my wife to do the dishes, man. I gotta put the kids to beds, man. I tagged you on my leaks, lol. Dude, you got 30 minutes gameplay? Oh, yeah, this is the one I've seen. That's the main menu leak. And, like, a couple of. Yeah, that's legit. That's legit. But I hope that the main menu doesn't look like that. Because it looks so Modern Warfare ish. Not saying Modern Warfare menu is bad, but I want a new menu, you know, Owen? Yeah, this is the one I've seen. But people said 30 minutes gameplay leak. Yo, we need we need some detectives, man. We need people to figure that one out, man. Yo, anybody for real have seen 30 minutes gameplay? If anyone have seen 30 minutes gameplay, please come forward and share with us. Uh, gaming bro, this Twitter ad. Like, go on this Twitter. Like, I personally don't want to leak it, dude. Like, uh, I, I don't want, I can't, dude. Like, I'll be under massive trouble, dude. Like, <laughs> I, I don't leak it, man. I just cover the news without showing, like, I'll, my channel will be deleted, this and that, dude. But go on this Twitter before it gets uh, taken down or they delete it. I got a job at Albertstein for discount Call of Duty Doritos. For real? Yeah, GG, dude. You like it? Are you doing it to get the moolah? I mean, you're doing it to get the moolah, but you like it? At least, I hope you like it. Where is the source? Uh, I put the Twitter ad in the chat. That's for the the M16 gameplay screenshot leak. But there has been a lot of like other other leaks as well on Twitter. Just like the, uh, the main menu image, but it's like Modern Warfare image. Like Modern Warfare. And it sounds like there's no load screens throughout the entire game. That's right. We're going to That's right. Yep. Wow. All right. Yeah, nah, gaming bro, I really can't, my guy. I I can like I can show uh I cannot show, dude. Like I can just like if somebody else shows it, like I can just add you in the just like Alejandro just putting like I, that's all I can do, bro. Like I really cannot like put it on my Twitter or like show that, man. If I if I wasn't doing YouTube like, 100 percent, man, like I'll hit you up this and that, like. But I'm doing YouTube and shit, dude. I I really can't. I can just like I said. If other people show it, I can talk about it. Giddy up, ponies. Yo, Phil Series X, what's up? How you doing, man? You're an Xbox? How you doing? I know all the Black Ops timeline now. Lamar, Tang Activision is pro PlayStation? They are, dude. They are. Uh, because, you know, PlayStation sales have been doubled. They sold more than double the amount of Xbox Series uh, or Xbox One. And PlayStation probably give them a lot of money, so it's like the money, man. It's the money and the player base. Like a lot more people are on PS5 or PlayStation rather, and they they will probably have the exclusivity and things like that. So it's the money, man. It's the money. It's the money. For example, in the demo, we've got the Enforcer, which is a double-barreled shotgun. I I personally have not seen that 30 minutes gameplay either, gaming bro. Like I hope, I hope. Not nah, Leo. It's all good, man. The the homie wanna the homie wanna see gameplay. I wanna see gameplay too, bro. Going to bed until next time, Skizzle. Realistic, thank you for stopping by, man. Seriously, all of you guys, I appreciate it. Love you all. Everyone, let's forget about Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4. It's non canon. Black Ops 3 campaign was bad, but otherwise, Black Ops 3 was a solid game. But I wonder, like, if Black Ops 2 is canon or not. This is gonna be set between Black Ops 1 and 2, so should be, no? 
It's all good, man. Gaming bro wanna see, but seriously, if anyone got that 30 minutes gameplay though, yo, you gotta hit up, man. You gotta hit up the homies, man. You gotta hit up the homies. If I had the gameplay and I wasn't doing YouTube, I would be sharing it everywhere, man. I would be sharing it everywhere, man. If I wasn't doing YouTube and I had league gameplay, I would be sharing it everywhere, man. B3 needs to be none, canon. Basically, Phil Series X, there is. You can probably find the 30 minutes gameplay on Reddit. Yeah, I'm gonna Google that after the stream and try to find that. But, yeah, there was 12 second gameplay, but that was low quality, that I've seen, but not the 30 minutes one. Phil Series X, show me the gameplay. Alright, let me check something out, okay? Let me find this. If I can find it, man, that would be nice. That would be a pog, bro. Appreciate, appreciate subscribing, man. Thank you, my love. I didn't think it popped up on stream, but I appreciate it. Uh, okay, nah, I won't find, I won't be able to. I'll check it out after the stream. All right, boys, I think I'm gonna call it. This has been, this has been a pretty bad stream. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. We had some fun during, but like it was a pretty sleepy stream. I'm not gonna lie. But in real, is real is 30 minutes gameplay. Yeah, that's what people, some people are saying. They seen, I've not seen it. I'm gonna search it and try to find that. But I'm gonna end it right here. Thank you all for coming on. Like and subscribe. I'm gonna keep all of you guys in the loops. I'll probably not have a video tonight. I'll probably make a big gaming news video tomorrow with everything right. Uh, but uh, yeah, man. Thanks for coming out on my sleeping stream, bro. Like, this was bad, bro. Like, this was probably bad. I'm not even sure I might even delete the stream. This was so bad. If you got the league gameplay, send it me to Twitter. Gucci68. Dude, cut the numbers, man. Make your Twitter at short and sweet. I'll send it if I find it, all right? Uh, if I find it, I'll send it, okay? Alright, boys! Thank you for coming on, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out!